Xbox has to control it, basically. That'd be you. Yeah. Would it would it scale up the difficulty if I done that? Uh, the difficulty isn't scaled by the number of people. It recommends you difficulty settings based on how many people you have playing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I guess I should use my actual name that I normally go with since I am. Um, we're gonna probably keep this one. Um, become exhausted 12 times or earn 15 bug points. So, 15 bug points. Left your goes in your position. Okay then, alright, so let's go to the merchant quick. Oh yeah, the merchant. We should probably do that. Merchant... Um, oh yeah, each item, there's only one of for sale as well. But... There's each no, there's two of each item in, in Oh there's two, yeah. My bad. If I get the eagle eye goggles again, they're really good getting advantage is always solid on a class like this. What does advantage do? Does that just Yeah, um basically when you flip up your um cards, like mm -hmm. the uh, modifiers, you yeah. typically flip two. Oh, okay. oh no! You, you just flip two. When you have advantage, you flip two, and you take the better one. Hmm. Normally, you just flip one, and that's what you get. Advantage lets you flip two and take whichever one is best, and disadvantage, you flip two and take whichever one is worst. <clears throat> and then they both get discarded. So, for example, advantage lets you completely not like remove the um, nullify modifier card if you happen to flip it and something else. You get to like just not have an attack nullified, which is always good. Mm. Does gear automatically get encrypted if you buy a It should do, yeah. Yeah, it did. So well, some both. I don't wanna buy yeah, things and then be like, yo. Tutorializing me, we did this yesterday. <laughs> oh, I'm ready, so I'm just gonna hop over to the west and hang out. Oh, no, we need to do the Gloomhaven and City event, don't we? You have to start that whenever you're ready because you're the host. <clears throat> I need money. Uh, no, we we all have to click on it. Uh, so it's just one of the the end. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I just hit cancel by accident. <sighs> and it happened anyway. All good. I'm getting that you get to just hit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I say go for the challenge. I like a challenge. <clears throat> what happened to the child? Oh, we haven't looked at the hero alive. Why does that sound scary? <laughs> I'm hoping it's easier than the bandit fucking encampment. I mean, I, I, I still think we should go for the Black Barrows thing. <laughs> that side quest, all I see is a bunch of undead, multi-eyed fucking thing. I have no idea what the hell that is. 
we got we had trouble killing bandits so let, let, let's see if we can handle the bandit no bandit bandits are worse <laughs> than danger at all right yeah so everyone just needs to select black barons or whatever <sighs> I mean, what level were the other guys? I have no idea. I remember. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Barrow. Uh, barrow. Um, it's not showing me the thing. There should be something. There should be just a little thing just up north of the city on the world it map. It should be I like a piece of paper. Like barrow, but it won't let me actually go into it. Like it's just. It's letting me click it, but not, not do anything with it. That do anything? Probably, yeah. I think it was waiting for you to select it, and it's still nothing. That's weird. Right, on, Try selecting it again quickly. Yeah, no. <laughs> on, but, um... Yeah, I didn't have this problem yesterday. All right, okay, I've selected it. I see, I appeared on the bottom now. There we go, I have to like, click accept quest at the bottom of the screen. Your rogue symbol. Clicking on the map didn't do much. Do no. so you want me to skip the dialogue or did yeah, everyone here? Needs to eat. Uh, I already know it all. Whatever your reason for coming to Gloomhaven, out here on yeah. the edge of the world. I'm sitting there smashing the space bar like it will get through quicker. Going to change. So when Jexera, a Valrath won this thief. This my Discord shows that I'm playing a game because someone from school just messaged me with a question and I don't want to reply, but if you can see that I'm gaming, I don't have the excuse of saying I'm busy. <laughs> uh are you appearing on Discord? Um let's take a look at Discord and see if it says that I'm playing Gloomhaven. Alright, let's see then. <laughs> it is saying yes. Yes, it ah, is. You out of yourself. Uh, it's not a big deal. I just. It's As you just... just. A bit weird. <laughs> ah, he's a special snowflake. Yo, brother. I'm in your class. <laughs> All right, Nathan, tell me one programming fact. It has to do deal with computers. Done. Boom. Okay, that, I set the bar too low. That's on the map. <laughs> yeah, you, you you really did. Some low hanging fruit. <laughs> Alex, you want to try something? He's occasion? just like that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need to select our battle goals. Um, I have to loot a chest or have my health be full at the end of a scenario. Ooh. I don't know if health is full, because I can just long rest right before we kill the last enemy. Is it possible for me to do the scenario with only doing short rest? Yes. But, I mean, it might be tough on the Tinkerer, because he burns so many cards. Mm. Do you think it'd be better to loot five piles of gold? Y your loot card burns, doesn't it? Let me look at your cards and see what options you've got for looting. Um, loot two burns. Oh, what else have you got here? Yeah, so unless we could stack up five piles of gold next to each other, you physically cannot complete that because you're only loot card burns. So oh, I should go for the short rest yeah. one then. What did you get for your battle goal, Nath? Either being a pacifist or an aggressor. You had to pick one, though. Which one did you pick? I picked aggressor. I feel like nice. there will be one left at the end of each round. Oh, we, um, to clear aggressor, we have to open the door before the turn ends, after we kill the enemies in the first room, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you have this game, Alex? Okay. Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. What the fuck is Gloomhaven? 
It's a board game, but there's like a digital version. Stay hydrated. Take care of these unfortunates. Um, that's a lot more enemies than when me and Bradley did it. Adding another person literally doubled the number of enemies. There were three of them. Down a hallway and through a door to his left. Um. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't like this number well, of enemies. It's not every day we get people stupid enough to hand to move deliver to a different their valuables to us. How do I do Jokes that? on them. Am I waiting for you guys to come in? Oh, I should just be clicking it. Um, no, it's it's because I've still got some narration up. That's why. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's twice okay. as many enemies in here as when we did it. By the way. The f but there isn't an elite. The elite is gone and has been replaced by, you know, four other enemies. <laughs> if, uh, do you want to move, what is it? Do you guys want to move up by one so you guys are closer to the enemies? I'm going here because then I'm kind of closer to the one in like, directly in front and not any closer to the other two. Okay, right. Well, I'll, I'll stand a bit off behind you then and then if you want to be in the middle. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how dangerous they Bruce are. Is kind of tanky. Like I feel like Nathan definitely is a better frontliner. You know what? I'll just stay here. Oh. Uh, if you stand in front of Bradley, I can do something turn one because I've got an attack that gets plus two if an enemy is next to one of my allies, and plus two if they're not next to any of their allies. So if I can pull that one in front next to both of us, I get plus four on an attack, and I can probably one-shot him. <laughs> and then where's my pull? This card. Let me backstab, smoke bomb. And then I'm going to try and go first. I'm very fast. So I should be going first. And then if the enemy that I pull somehow survives my attack, you should be able to finish it. Uh, where's the ready button? Uh, should be end selection. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out what I want to do. I think healing would be necessary. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to pull the enemy directly in front of me and Nathan to me and then one shot it. Unless I roll a card that nullifies my attack, which would suck. Yeah, even on a minus one, I should be able to kill it. Oh, you have to pick your cards as well, Nathan, before you can... Yeah, uh, yeah you, you have to pick two cards. You have to pick two cards. Okay. And so whichever one you click first will determine your uh, initiative. So that's the number on the left, and lower is faster. So if you want to go quickly, you need to click your uh, lowest number card. I do find it interesting that it doesn't tell us each other's initiative. <laughs> huh? uh, they're all two. They're all two. Yeah. They're all two what? Initiative. Yeah. No, you're looking at no the number on no, the, no, the, 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 the round the round number on the on the side like you know oh. uh, where yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or or in the middle of the card picture. Yeah, the, the twos that you're looking at are probably just the default attack and move values. You can do that instead of the actual card action, basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait, am I and then wait, with the, with the two cards that you pick, basically, Nate, you'll play the top effect from one and the bottom effect from one of the other, basically. Yeah. So you can't, like, do two top effects or two bottom effects. 
Oh, uh, be careful as well. So uh, you see, there's like a icon at the on the bottom corner of the abilities. <laughs> Bradley card burner. I mean, you probably should have explained that to him first. Maybe, yeah. Nah, just wing it. <laughs> <clears throat> to me, my minion. Attacking seven, so a minus one still lets me one shot. Um... It's fine. You need to buy so I can kill. Minus two or a nullify would have been really bad, especially since that card burns. If it got nullified, I would have been mad. So yeah, no, if you see on, uh, what is it, Shield Bash, you see the uh, the action there has um, that has the burn icon on the bottom corner of oh, that yeah. box. So if you, if you, actually they both, and then, if you play the bottom yeah, of Bramble on the top of Shield Bash, you burn two yeah, cards in the burn. scenario. Um, you can select the, uh, you know, the, there's like a, a little boot icon just above the box. So you can choose that to do a two movement and that will avoid burning the cards. Oh yeah, you can't actually get Trample's attack off, by the way, because it's all enemies moved through and he's against the wall. So you can't move through him. Oh, really? You'd have to move to the other side of him for I, that attack I to be off. Originally, I could move like through him into the other guy that you pulled. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't like move into I mean... an enemy, like to move through them, you have to do it in one clean movement. You couldn't like, like move into it and turn around and come out to the right. Tile. Like, if I... I mean, maybe, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah you, but you, you burn you, you, you can't double back on started. yourself. But yeah, you, um, you, you, he'd be burning two cards unless he just played the two attack off of Shield Bash. I mean, yeah, I'd, I mean, his, his objective is to get through this as quickly as possible, isn't it? Uh, it's to make sure there's no time where the, there's no enemies active, so as long as there's one enemy left when we open the door, and then again in the next room as well, we have to make sure something's okay. alive when we open the door. So, I, I mean, what I would do is, uh, if you use the two movement on the, uh, what is it, on, um, the card above Nathan to move up, and then you can just use your attack with piercing on the trample cards. Yeah, because Bradley's probably got enough damage to finish off whatever you attack if you do three damage to her. It doesn't seem to be allowing me to click the movement on the top one, though. I know... Uh, you've already selected the bottom one, but you should be able to undo selection somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then oh, just okay. if like, you... I, I didn't even click on that. It just did so, it by uh... itself. <laughs> yeah. And then there's just the boot I... Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. And then, yeah, Bradley should be able to finish him if you just do the three uh, damage. And then you don't lose two Give cards. Him. And Give you might even him. do more than three. You might get a plus one or plus two. Or two times. I mean, you, could, you could technically one strike if you get lucky. Oh, close. Nearly. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's a, there's a two times card in the modifiers deck as well, and it's very, very good. <laughs> I landed it yesterday when I did 18 damage to that guy, and it was complete overkill. Oh, you've got a pull card as well. I like that. Um, there are traps in the next room that we might be... Actually, does Putin's deck have a push card in it? I think it might. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's enemies with traps behind them in the next room, and we need to move the traps to get to the door. So you're kind of our um, key guy here, I guess. Nah, no, just walk into them. It, it hurts a lot. Traps are one of the most OP things in this game. They do a lot of damage to you. Like a lot. I think at our difficulty, it's probably a flat six damage with probably, no modifiers yeah, on it. Be looting. He won't loot. His loot card's got a burn on it. Yeah. I can do without burning the card, so I should probably be our looter. Did you kill that guy? Gold gets dead anyway. Or did he just fall over there? Just to... <laughs> oh. Did you lose? <laughs> no, 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 I just stood on top of it and picked it up. Oh, it doesn't normally do that, that's weird. Yeah, the, the, the tabletop version, you actually have to use it on to pick up gold. It did, what is it, it did have some quality of life, sort of, um, 
alternative rules, so I, I like I just went. I just done what was recommended. I, I didn't fiddle ah. with them. Well, that's good to know. We don't have to use cards for loot anymore. Yeah, you just got to stand on top of them. If you if you have a loot two, you basically loot everything in a two tile radius around you. So if there's a bunch of gold surrounding you, you can make use of the guard still, basically. So you just oh yeah, I mean way less turns. I really fucked up in my choice of fucking things now. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, we both have heals, by the way, Nathan. So I wouldn't bother discarding to avoid that damage just yet. Like we can heal you. Yeah, uh, just just take the damage. I'll take the damage. Heal you, uh, you only really want to burn a card to avoid damage if you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, take the damage. You're still not gonna like you can you can do it on the turn where you would die, but you can still just do it. I was just thinking that it was free damage, and I'm like, nah, I don't want to take free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was it? This one? Am I... Wait, how is that? Uh, Bradley, how fast can you go, and could you pull one of those enemies next to us? I can only hit two. Uh, I don't think I have any. I think I've used my pull card. Ah. I was going to say, I've got a buff thing that I can use, but I can't do anything else. In I mean, I, I was just planning on healing Nathan a shit ton. Actually, what am I saying? I can do throwing knives. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'll give how, myself a buff and throw some knives. How much priority? I'll attack the guy in the corner. Uh, 17. I've got, I've got 10. I'm going to attack the guy in the corner, most likely. We can sort of single him out because the other ones are all next to someone, which means my path won't apply. Yeah, so I'm going to heal Nathan for five, basically. Um, but I'm not going to be able to move. Yeah. Uh, do you have? I don't know if you use part of it or not. Oh yeah, the reinvigorating of Link, sir. No, like, when I get low on cards, we'll just start, oh, you know, Zam, I can get my cards back without resting, and I can just keep grabbing them, killing things. Oh, damn, Nate, you outsped me. I guess we're even, so I guess it just kind of decided what to do. So if I move here, I should be able to do the hit cleave and hit both. From my yes. other set. Yes, yeah. it's um, so the white tile on the pattern is you, and then the red ones are what you would hit, basically. Also, the um, the little uh, refresh icon on your top card basically means that it's uh, that card becomes a passive. But only for that round. There's another icon that says it. Oh. Not as strong as I want. I mean, you got one. The damage roll isn't bad. Yeah, next week. Okay, so I'm going to You're going for the chap in the corner, right? Um, well, I'm using drawing knives, which has two targets. Actually, can I even reach him? I don't think I can reach him. Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Son of a bitch. I can actually only get one target out of this. That kind of sucks. See, I my biggest problem with this class is that my movement sucks if I want to do other actions. I can't really do a lot of movement. I'm going to play advantage and just try and kill that guy. I think if I can get a plus one. Yeah. I'm going to plus two. Again. Yeah. Uh, we I have plus two. We get I spent advantage on that as well. on one HP. Feels bad. Oh yeah, I put on a buff because we plus two to two enemies that aren't adjacent to anyone, but Help me, okay. like that's why I was planning to attack the guy in the corner, but I couldn't reach him. Maybe if I moved him, I could have buffed him. Yeah. Okay, Oh god, no damage, that's good. Yeah. Oh, he's ramping himself, though. 
Oh, you've got your uh, little trap you can place as well, by the way. And, like, Nathan could uh, push enemies into that. It does flat mm. six, I think, so we kill them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's no the fires on the proximity. In mind, when it goes up, it does a flat six, so they would get one shot. I've Can still I... got my heal card, I think. Uh, before you decide, let me check if my heal card has been spent yet. Right. I've still got it. I can heal you for two. No, it's a heal self. Yeah, I can't hear you. Only Brad. I mean, you. it's it's what is it? I'm pretty sure. How, wait, how do I check what cards I've got left? Well, there's um, one more I just attack. click on the icons at the top. There's one more attack after this, and four damage is like a high ass row. I mean, in a pinch, I can heal you for five. Um, I would say nullify the floor because the next guy might just roll one. Yeah, you know, like if he rolls two, you still die and have to burn a card, and he's like could very reasonably get two. So I would nullify the four rather than what risking having to nullify the two. Really be better off. I should message that guy back while I wait. I mean, I can heal Nathan for free. It isn't the third attack after, like I said, like the other guy could very reasonably hit him for two and then he would be burning a card anyway before less value. <laughs> That's wow, he didn't, but it was close. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to the And you'd have still been on no. one health anyway, so you would probably have to burn a card eventually. Yeah. Okay, so I want to go for the guy closest to Bradley. Yeah. I'm gonna go. With... I mean, I can finish off that. What is it? I can either heal Nathan, or um, was it for free, or shoot the guy? I'm going for speed, so I should be going first, and I ideally can one shot. I could heal myself. Too. Okay, so uh, I'll heal you for free then, and you heal yourself for two. How do you ping a tire on PC? There was a tool tip for your controller. The thing is, it does say the hill has a ring. I would like to believe that you can just place it on yourself. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna try to kill the I guy. Mean, I mean, I was healing even. myself uh, last round, so. I am not gonna be attacking the guy with one health. I could. My battle goal again. I don't even remember. Maybe. Ah, uh, the heal thing is. What is it? Um, Revigorating elixir. Shit. Um, fuck it. I might just heal now for five then. Heal, well, yeah, I'm, I'm burning a card by doing it. Fair enough. I've still got lots of cards. After this turn, I still have three usable cards, and then I will need your invigorating tonic. 
Yeah, I was going to heal him for free, but that's exactly what the heal one was. It was. <laughs> I want to move five and then attack three. Five. 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 I'm going to move here so I can get that gold for two. And I'm going to try and kill this guy. Oh, what guy? The. The one right behind you, yeah. Damn, you hit him. attack five. Mm, I can attack for five, so I. If I get plus one, he dies. <laughs> Not five. Shit. Shit. Well. That was the worst modifier I've had. Honestly, hoping I don't. Anyways, yeah, if you, um, if you placed a trap. Behind the guy, I just tried to kill Nathan. Could shove him into it. I yeah, but then I can't heal Nathan. Him, yeah, yeah, that's a shame. It's also a burn card as well. I mean, I'm I having to burn the heal. If I stand next to you, you get benefits, don't you, uh, Kieran? Uh, I get benefits if I'm next to. You. Actually, it's if enemies are next to you when I attack them, I get benefits. You don't need to be next to me. No. Oh, okay. Me. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll. Oh, I suppose everyone's standing around Nathan. I don't really need to move. Uh, skip move. All right. You have some really good attacks. Yes. Plus one. Damn you. Damn you, motherfucker. Alright. I did a lot to them though, so that's cool. Um, how much did he hit me for? Three? Three. I will take that. Yeah. I still have four health. <laughs> that's not good. I'm curious now what you bought at the shop because I bought armor. <laughs> I bought something that gives me advantage. I bought health potion and boots. I can heal myself from the damage I just took. That's only two, Nathan. I mean, that's like the lowest points of damage you've taken. Right. Let's see. What do I have left? Attack for free and a push for two. Uh, I could shoot the one that's in front of Nathan, but don't forget we need to open the door as well. Actually, I need something. That... Yeah. We gotta open the... So... Uh, so it's next turn you need me to use the, uh, what is it, invigorating elixir on you, right, Kieran? Uh, yeah, I can play two more cards. You could do it this turn if I go before you, but I've only got slow cards left. I mean, it's it's. So fine. you'd have to go slower than thirty-three. I mean, if I select the uh, vigorating elixir first, then I I would I'd go after you anyway. It's thirty-seven. I four nine overwhelming this. That's only two as well, so I don't need ridiculous movement. I'm gonna see if I can one shot the bandit that's still got full health. Uh... 
I mean, you can just choose to do the base attack option if you're going for that guy with one health, because you'll still hit two. What can I do? I guess I'll heal myself, and... Um... I guess all I can do is move. That's my other action. Alright. I mean, I'm planning on using Revigorating Elixir on you. Yeah, I'm just going to heal myself yeah. and move, I guess. I mean, just make sure it's within two tiles of me. Yeah. Well, I suppose three tiles, because I do have a range of one. Oh, the bandits are going quick. God. Of course it'd be the one that's... <laughs> They've nullified. Nice. I'm poisoned. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. They're like, killed the furry. <laughs> Should I take the four then? I've only got one. Mm, it's up to you. I mean, as soon as I refresh, I should be able to start healing again. I, I don't know how to do this. Poison does something different in this game. Yeah, so poison basically gives enemies plus one on all their attacks against you. Uh, also, the first heal that you receive while poisoned cures the poison and doesn't heal you. Okay. Uh, and so, if you use your heal this turn, then. Um, it won't do anything. It'll cure your poison, which will free you up for Bradley to heal you. Yeah. Because uh, his heals are bigger than yours, so I would spend your heal. I'm guessing I have disadvantage on attack rows now as well. No, it just gives them plus one when well, they attack it, you. Well, it's saying minus one to attack. Oh, uh, they must have done something else to you, maybe. Yeah, poison doesn't give you minus one. It does say poison. It is. Yeah, poison just gives them plus one against you. And yeah, that's then. applied after modifiers, so as long as they don't get nullified, the plus one is guaranteed. Because it's saying my attack free is only going to do two damage. Ah, uh, it's fine. Just I mean, um, oh, the guy in front of you has shielding. Front. They all have shielding. The purple. Uh, I mean, just kill the one in front. Yeah, he can kill himself. Um, also, warding strength. The bottom portion of it is very good. It lasts basically until you've been attacked six times. I'd love to go pick up those coins, but then I would be out of range of Bradley's uh, thing that I wanted to do to me. So I cannot. Crazy that the heal only removes poison, but does not give you any heal on top. Yeah, well, actually, I feel like. You... What is it? If you stop by the. Uh, what is it? Like the. How do you ping? The one in front of Nathan or the one next to uh, The one that's. The pile that's next to Nathan, but away from the the bandit. Yeah, well, I I just do it in terms of directions around me. Like one of them's in front of him, and one's in the side. Of him, right? That's... Uh, yeah, the the one that's uh, like where a shield. Oh, is or... I actually can't reach it because I can only do the default move too anyway. No, okay. Because I'm gonna kill myself. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Being called one HP. And a dream. I'm going to move here so that I'm ready to open the door, but I'm not going to open it yet. Um, I don't think I can I open the door without move. Like, I think I can't move onto the door without opening it. So I can either stay here or move to the other side of the door. Actually, I can't even move past the door tile. Um, I'm just going to skip my movement action for this turn, I guess. What would have opened the door to? Activate the enemies in the room. They <laughs> aggro as soon as the door is opened. That's fine. They're probably at the back of the room. There's two in the front that have traps behind them that I, I really think we did benefit from you charging room. 
we did this yesterday. Ah, we, we I just, oh. yeah, I just realized enemies something. Enemies I, uh, I fucked up. Oh, because it's a so bug. I can't, I can't move to yeah. you to, to give you yeah. the revigoration. Oof. Oof. We'll just do it next cycle, then I'll just have to short rest after this. Alright, I guess I'll get long rest, because the door is closed. But then I've got full health. Alright. Maybe they'll attack me. It seems like a waste of action economy to long rest when I've got full health. But I've got no cards. I can't believe they <laughs> I'm sure that poison is, like, from the get-go. <laughs> coins! Wants his coins. There's a loot goblin! So if I click my last card and don't use it for its six damage thing, does the card still burn? If I just use the base action. Uh, let me go over what you just said again. Let me read what you got. Okay, all I have is overwhelming assault left. But... Yeah, you can play the base action and it won't burn. Okay. Hopefully and then you'll have to short rest. You can't long rest and play a card, but you can short rest and play a card as far as I'm aware. Like, it'll just take up your second action to short rest. You can't only play one card, so you uh, have to uh, play the card and do a rest, I believe. Okay. What am I burning? I don't know if I should do a short rest. Do you have one card that you can play that's worth playing? You've got four cards. Now, nah, don't short I rest. You can probably kill the enemy. I could. Or you could, um... Toxic Bolt has an attack how it burns. Uh, the it top does, part but... poisons, though. Like, that would make it easier for us to kill the last guy. Or, uh... No, Net Shooter burns. I was going to say you can immobilize him. Oh, no, the bottom half of Net Shooter lets you move and immobilize. They don't have any ranged attack, so we could um, immobilize him and go through the door. Oh, uh, but oh, it immobilizes it picks... adjacent before moving, so you can't yeah. use that because right. it's not next to anyone. It picks the discarded um, card at random. Uh, it's, it's fine, I'll just, I'll go for, what is it, I'll use Toxic Bolt on uh, the one behind Nathan, and then... Um, yeah, yeah, then we can kill him. I'll, uh, I'll right. use Enhancement Field so Nathan does more damage. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, do you think you can kill that guy this turn? Because if you can, Bradley could use his move action to go and open the door. Uh, if I shield... What one? The one in front of me? The three. Yeah, well, the weaker one. Uh, yeah. shield bash should do four. Oh, wait, can you short rest and then take an action? You can, yeah. It's only long rest, it's only four turns, so you've got your cards back. Uh, yeah, just try it. If you kill him, and then Bradley Toxic bolts the other guy and moves to the door to open it, then we can guarantee that you don't lose um, your... Um, what's, what's your alcohol. initiative? It should be 15. Okay, so if, if I do... What is it? Yeah, if I click Toxic Bolt, and then Ink Bomb, and then I'll run through the door then, and then shoot. Either hit the guy or and, Yeah, actually, the, the enemy numbers I change. I feel like I should have killed myself, now. right? Yeah, if you can heal and kill, I would do that, yeah. And then, yeah, we need to... Uh, I don't know what the layout's going to be like in the next room, because there were six enemies in here instead of three this time, so... <laughs> but hopefully yeah. the traps are still there, because we all have... Um, Pushes and pulls. ...that can move enemies, yeah. Actually, you could put a trap right in front of the door as soon as you open it next turn. Oh, well, you want to... Yeah, but then we have to keep the aggressive like, thing going, don't we? Well, the traps are one-off, like, then someone will walk into it, trigger it, and take six damage, and then it's gone, so we can keep moving after that. No, right, I mean, do bear in mind that does burn the cards, what does proxy mean, like? Do you have, oh, okay, I mean, four movement's quite handy, but... 
I feel like if the enemies have six health, it's absolutely worth burning a card to insta kill because there's no modifiers on it, so there's no chance they can survive. Like it's a guaranteed kill on these enemies. I mean, well, we don't know what's on the other side of the door. It might be a bunch of elites. Yeah, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. If if we can one tap something with it, it's worth burning the card for. I would say. Because yeah, traps traps are busted. Like six flat damage is crazy. Hopefully they attack me because I'm long resting, so I'll heal it anyway. I mean, you could I mean, just you do piece attack a, action and see if you get a plus one off it. I mean, it's fine. If it survives, I can just toxic bolt it and then walk. Yeah, Bradley could just move his target because he's going to go after you. This one. No! It's okay, it still dies. Bradley will finish one. I always, when I think of the healing and it's like got a range of one, I just feel like you've got like a heal dart and you just shoot yourself in the face with it and be like, haha, I feel better. Shoot myself in the face. Tony, I thought it was zero then. Was messaging like, me. oh, wasn't no. actually messaging me about school. He was asking me for dating advice and I'm just like, I don't know why I'm the person you would come to about this. Because you married someone. Yeah, but I never dated. Like, I married <laughs> the first person that I was with. Damn. I feel like, honestly, this guy is probably worth using the trap on still because it would put him in my kill range comfortably. I mean, I, I don't, I don't have, I can't do anything. I've literally been on my cards. Wait, well, yeah, I mean, in future. Yeah, okay, right, well. This, this, like, this round's about to end anyway, right? Yeah. They do get put on the initiative list as soon as the door is open, though, so they will start moving towards us. Like they actually just get put into the turn order for the active yeah. turn. But they can't do much. Okay, so it's one elite fucking guard and free fucking. No, no trap. Yeah, if I if I can go slower than you, you could place the trap and I could put him in. The I don't want to receive more damage. I mean, I, I still need to refresh my stuff. Yeah. So. You, you, you can short rest. Like, it doesn't take up the turn. You can short rest and then take an action as well. Right, well, yeah. Oh, oh wait, you um, oh, yeah. I mean, do bear in mind if I short rest as well, there's always a chance that it could be the card I found. It could. It very well could. Yeah. Well, that's the gamble I have you to take. get rid of Provoking Raw because of short rest. Otherwise, I would have had to keep calling himself up. You still got two. Wait, why, why is it not showing me what, what they do anymore? Like, there's no picture coming up. Of the card. That's weird, you must be having a bug. Um, oh. Enhancement field could be really helpful for me. Like, I might be able to kill the guy. Like, unironically, I might be able to just do him in. The guy in front of you? No, the big guy. Oh. <laughs> you, you're just gonna Depending on which there? cards I still have. Okay, um, so you want me to use enhancement field to get plus one, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll do I'll do net shooter then basically so I'll have nineteen on the priority and then I'll enhance you. Um, and then I'll just do two um, damage to the guy in front of Nathan. If I wanna do my big attack, I physically cannot go slow enough to one shot him here. Because I would have to use flanking strike to even give it a shot. So what I'll do is instead don't use it this turn. Because I can't go slow enough. I'm gonna buff myself. I think, and then um, I I just, uh, just so w what's happening then? So, you don't want me to enhance you? Nah, I'm gonna just put on an invisibility that gives me double damage on my next attack. I think, oh no, oh. that burns. I'm already burning so many cards. I'm gonna pull him and just do some damage. But I won't be able to get the kill, so I can't go slower than you. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the enhancement field then, and then I'll short rest on my next turn. And hopefully, you get invigorating tonic as one of the cards that isn't burned, because I'm a need it soon to keep popping off and doing lots and lots of stuff. But I should ideally be able to do about like five damage minimum to this guy, maybe. Uh, as long as I don't get a negative. Priority. 
gonna pull this guy in. Uh, there's actually another elite. <sighs> yeah, the one of the archers is elite as well. Also, ranged attacks in this game have line of sight, so they can't shoot me from where I am. What? They could stand there. <laughs> they can only shoot me from the tile to the left of the elite in the doorway. Holy shit, you're That's the only place they'd have line of sight on me. Hit hard as fuck. I'm gonna get advantage. Screw it. We'll see if I can get a plus two. Or a double. I didn't Whatever, like, I'll, get him, I'll to... get him close to death. I didn't expect you to hit this hard. <laughs> I've got six. He's close. If anyone else can do three damage, then he's dead. <laughs> yeah, the scoundrel is one of the best starting classes. I mean, I might be able to. Oh, he's just placed a trap right in front of himself. No, that's that's a good thing. That's three damage for us. That almost kills him. They're just surrounding themselves. They're being really, they really dumb. We both have pulls and Nathan has a push. Like, they're... They're dead. They just have killed themselves. Like, those traps will one-shot the two non-elites. And leave the elite on one health. Oh, you get disadvantage on ranged attacks if you're next to an enemy, by the way. Same as I'm not going to do a ranged attack, I'm going to do a base damage attack. Are you going to do the basic? Uh, I'm going to attack the guy behind me, because I'm hoping yeah, that Nathan yeah. can do... Because I'm giving him plus one to his attack, I'm hoping he can wallop. Uh, most yeah. of it, all of it. Oh, if you draw the plus one, he'd be dead. No. Oh well. We don't roll plus one. That's okay. We both have full health, and he can't. And he could get to Nathan, but not likely. You. The bottom action on warding strength is really, really good. If you want to be the one to charge in there, by the way, Nate, it will literally just make you take one less damage off everything for six attacks. It's great. I was just gonna focus the guy with six health now. But... Trying to think. Oh yeah, because your top card's got an attack on the bottom. You could, yeah. yeah. That's probably worthwhile. What would the be first? I'll do. Wait, wait, wait! No, no, you want to do the other one first because you push him. Nah, he won't. Yeah, you're gonna push him. He won't. No, you, be you'll pushed. push. Last time I used it, no one got pushed. Were they, were they against the wall? Yeah. <laughs> well, that explains it. He just slaps the guy and says, You're mine. Yeah. Oh, you got plus one, nice. My mime! <laughs> oh, you got your fucking time to on it, mate. It was yeah, almost dead. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, once once you spend all of your modifiers, they do refresh, so you will get that back eventually. Uh, I can take two damage. Right. I still got my heal card. Right, short rest thing. Do you want to perform um, a short rest? Yes. Ah, uh, it's revigorating elixir. Wait, why do I get a redraw? You can. Plus, if you spend one health, you can redo what card gets burned on the short rest. Fuck it. Uh, oh god, range. restorative mist was the other one. Why? Why is it the healing? It's taking up my right. healing. I can kill this guy. I'm gonna throw knives at him. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn this. And then, uh, could you give me my cards back? Because I'm down to one card after this. I don't know. How, how does it work? Do I, do I get to... Do I, do I just your... get one card? No, I think you just get your whole action back. You can play Oh, well. But yeah, as long as you're slower than me, and I'm going 10, so I'm pretty quick. Then I'll get all my cards back. Uh, how far does a jump okay. go? I, right, it should just, tell you the value on it. Just don't move out of reach of me, because if you do, I, I can't do anything. Yes. Uh, but... Oh, jump is a modifier, basically. So what it does is it just... Um, makes it so that you can like jump over obstacles but like your movement is still the same distance it'll just let you not get hit by stuff on the floor basically yeah sadly i don't have a push option so i was hoping to just run up and push the trap that's directly in front of the archer you can't push traps you'd have to push them into the trap no how are we supposed to get them then they've completely uh we are gonna have to pull them 
So that's just all on you then. Yeah, that's that's gonna be my job. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. next turn after this one. I'm gonna run in and kill the guy on the right by just pulling him straight into the trap. Oh, this is this is so frustrating. It's it's just like I've got what is it? I've got a good thing to do with like you know, like I can't move on my turn basically, and I can't really like I'm I'm just yeah, gonna I, be basically really invigorating you because the rangers are just too far. I mean, you might as well just step on the gold, Nathan. At least, um, yeah. yeah. At least the rangers can't do anything. I mean, if you, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna revigorate you. Um, what is it? Let me check the rangers' cards and see what they can do. We should be able to. Use that. They've got ah, they've got range four, and the elite's got range five, so he can go one, two, three, four, five. So the elite can shoot into the doorway, but he can shoot that whole room. And then the other two can shoot. I think I want to keep that. Almost that far. I want to keep that. So like for example, the tile where the elite, uh, the almost dead guy is stood, like that is safe from all of them, I think. Yeah, but you have to beat those two. No, it's not safe from the elite, but it's safe from the other two. So yeah, the uh, the front. The front three tiles and the door are all safe from the two side archers that the elite can hit you. Yeah. Like they can yeah, hit can't you once you're in the door frame, things. right? Uh, no, the elite can. The other two can't hit you on the yeah. front three tiles of the room. They've only got four range. The elite's got five. Yeah. So it sucks going into that room. So, yeah, I'm just going to be picking yeah. up the goad. Can you at least shoot me on the doorway? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I don't want to move yeah. there. I'm just going to stay put where I am. Can you, can you hit the guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to throw knives. <laughs> Minus two. <laughs> that, that's the thing. We need ranger attacks to hit the rangers. <laughs> um, if I'm willing to eat a hit from that guy, I could move on to that gold. I. Uh, you don't burn I mean, that I movement, could... right? My movement doesn't burn, no. Yeah, doesn't burn so you can it. move onto the go. Oh, but you have to stop on it, don't you? Yeah, yeah you have to enter turn yeah, on top yeah. of it. Yeah. All right, See, I kind of want to get into range to pull one of those guys. My pull is yeah, just two, just bear in mind, I, I, I can't move. I can't move. So if oh, you yeah, so I can't get my range. Yeah. Um, you might yeah. as well just hide there. The enemies can't come for us, which means they're just burning through our action economy by making us sit here and do nothing. Yeah. Which is kind of sketch. I will be grabbing the left hand go. Yay, my cards! Okay, that's my cards. Come on, just walk into the door. <laughs> how how comes they can just end their turn? No, you, they're still burning two cards when it, well they're discarding two cards for doing it. They don't have a limit on their cards. Like they don't have an action economy like we do. They can just make us waste all of our cards and we lose. They can make us deck out. <laughs> That, so we'll just end it there and just not bother attack so you get to keep your guns. Do I have to attack? Uh, no, so you, select, you have uh, to You have to select something and then go skip action. Yeah, just, just like, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I, I thought it was guaranteed that you have to do that. My product gone is more than two. Oh, let's get back! Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> What do you mean, too fucking good? There's at least 15 in that um, <laughs> I might have to be a hero here and risk death to go in there and prepare to pull them in. 
Um, I, I was, what is it? So for me, I'm gonna use, uh, what is it? Stunning Shot, which has uh, 18. Yeah. So I can run in there, basically. Go, no, go as slow as possible. If they outspeed us, they waste their attacks because they can't attack us while we're out of range. Oh, that's fair. But I'll just swap it around then. I'll do, I'll do gunning hook thing. That, what is it? The gun hook, and then yeah. the other way around then, because that's got like seventy two. And yeah, then I'm, I was gonna five and heal myself. But I'm gonna yeah, I was stuck. gonna run in there, shoot the elite guy, which will do two damage, and then pull him into his own trap. I quite like that. I mean, the um, trap only does three, but oh, the difficulty scaling, yeah. Uh, I mean, the other thing I could do is I could go for one of the bandit archers on the side because then it will start clearing um, the door. We have to clear the left one first, yeah, because then we need to be able to open the door before there are any enemies are all dead. All right, so I'm gonna what is it? So I get four movement. So I'm gonna run in there fire. and then I'm gonna shoot the yeah the one in the closest one to the door and then drag him into one of the traps in front of the door. Yeah, you go left, I'll go right, and then. Yeah, I'm going to go slow, so I won't do any damage this turn. I'm going to just run in there, hope they miss all their attacks by going first and heal myself. And if you all walk into a bear trap, you spread the damage evenly. <laughs> and you do still have proximity mine available if we need it for the last room. Just remember, Nate, go slow if you can, and then they might just whiff all their attacks. Well, it's like... My most expensive cards are the ones... Ah... Uh, they're slower than us! Bradley's How? managed to go slower than them, at least. How? I, I'm pretty sure this is, like, my slowest card. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I mean, it's my slowest available card. I mean, uh, you could just... I think yeah. I had an AD Well, I need to get into the room to be able to do anything eventually, right? That's the thing. Like, I need to yeah. just go for it. I need you to come in the room as well, Nathan. Hopefully we can spread their attacks out a bit. No. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but there's gold. Uh, it's fine. Let, let Nathan spend the turn picking up the gold. And no, 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 it's fine. We need the They already boxes. moved. I'm in here I now. I mean, you might as well pick up that pile of gold that's going to be behind me. If you can. I mean, I, I, I don't know what you... Oh, you got that? Yeah. Well, if you're if you're standing around picking up gold, you're burning through cards. Like it's gonna get dicey for us in the last room. You're not supposed. Oh yeah, to be yeah, but he can, loot in this game. Was it, he can only was it move three spaces? So he might as well move to that gold. gold. Yeah, get the get, get the one in the corner in the room. Yeah. Don't get the one behind Bradley. Like you, you're gonna have to get used to leaving loot behind in this game. Like that's kind of a thing. Like no. the action economy no. is so. <laughs> This is Nathan we're talking about. Man will pick up everything. <laughs> like that's, this that's is what gets him killed in Apex Legends. He's staying right and trying to figure out so how he can fit everything in his inventory. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like most of the difficulty in this pick game literally comes from action economy. Like it's very tight. Pick up the gold and whip it. I'm trying to think of the move free jump is better. Jump won't give you any extra I, movement. It, it doesn't. Like it's it, the quietest for crossing it. over stuff. Oh. It, it won't help but, you here. Like it doesn't make you go any further. Like it does in okay, Baldur's Gate. Okay, like, allow me to go over, over the traps. Then? Yes. Okay. No, I don't. Why don't you jump into the traps? No, I mean it's That's fine. kind of selected. But it won't let you go over the traps no, like, with this setup because there's stuff on the opposite side of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I should just be able to jump into them, right? Nathan, just secure the money. Secure the well, money. Well, I mean, you'd be able to jump across them, but you can't land any. Because the tiles behind them. Don't hit me too hard. Three, I can take three. I think they were all so goddamn slow. I actually played my slowest available time. Yes! Yes! Yes, to not taking damage, that's insane. I know, right? I have like two armor pieces that should make me. Oh, um, damage. Bradley, I don't remember how this works exactly, but your pull might be able to kill him. I think you might be able to pull him through both traps clean and do six damage. Uh, which, which one? You've got pull two. Um, maybe. If they, he passes through both trap tiles, I think they both go off. But that wouldn't kill the elite, it would only kill the other guy. 
I, I would mean, go for the I'll do two. Right? I'll do two damage, and then he'll take six. So that will be eight. Yeah. Will he pass through two trap tiles? Like, can you pull him? At the I end? I don't know. It says pull two. But can you pull him to the tile in front of you? I don't know. There's, there's, it, it just says to confirm target, so... Yeah, and then you have to pick where he's going to be pulled to. Yeah, but I'm yeah, also I can pull him through both. Yeah. I can pull him through both. Okay, nice. Who got OP? <laughs> I mean, it helps when people lay their own demise in front of them. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't remember if you could, like, move them at an angle on a pull like that. Like, I thought I wasn't sure if it had to be in a straight line. Okay so, okay, so now we want to I'm going to pull the one in front of me and then kill him. Uh, I might cause uh, self harm just to not give up on my heal. <laughs> Which means I might, that, I'm, I'm going um, to poison Bradley, you're gonna the guy. Bradley, you're going to need to open the door, yeah. I'm going to poison the guy and then walk for the door. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have him in this of 18. I'm going to have 5. Maybe 10, actually. Oh. I'm going to go 10. Where's the door? Oh, uh, it's two, two hexagons in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is the furthest we've got in this, Nathan. What? No. We got into this next room and there's skeletons, right? I don't remember. I remember skeletons. <laughs> yeah, All I remember, Nathan, is yeah. somebody's gonna get hurt real bad. How much movement? How much XP have you guys all got on this game? Oh, Nathan's not got a lot of XP. I got seven. I'm going crazy on XP gains. How? <laughs> You're probably not my I kills. I want more cards it. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't get XP from kills. You get XP from um, quests and clearing scenarios and cards that say they grant XP. Oh. So yeah, you don't have to worry about the fact that I get all the kills with this class because it doesn't actually matter. But that's not how you get. That should be XP. my attack. I'm gonna be what is it? I'm gonna be very slow after this, uh, by the way, because that's, that's all I've got left. Yeah. Oh, your um, summon decoy is solid as well. It burns, but it's got six health. Like it's pretty good at just being a distraction. But it doesn't have any attack. It's fine. I might use that when we go into the next room. Yeah, it could be worthwhile there. Are you able to get to the guy on the left and hit him, Nathan? Because uh, Bradley's going to open the door so that you don't lose your thing. I'm going to kill the guy on the right. Uh, I'm going to throw a dagger at the guy, this archer guy. Okay. But I'm think like, I don't have enough movement to get up. I mean, so you just how much? You can do some damage. I would have to use <laughs> Oh, Nathan's, like, long-term quest to retire his character is have 200 gold in his possession. Mr. Horder, man, I have a great time with that. Huh. I mean, you have a range of three. If you, what is there, any, like, you know, you can use the base movement of any card to yeah. move to where I am and then throw it at him. Yeah. Yeah, like, as long as you go slower than Brad. Yeah, so it's up. fine. My, my speed's 18, so yeah, if you just use Spare Dagger as your okay. first thing and then follow up with whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm having issues. Which one oh, get rid which one to walk? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I, kinda I mean, keep... trample is trample is solid, but yeah, is it I, I want to keep trample though for the next room. Oh yeah, you could do warding strength and just apply it so that it's up for the next room. So that when you get hit, you do less. Uh, you take less damage. Yeah, but he, yeah, he but needs to move I, two I tiles. I just need to move two to Oh hit. right, yeah. And you don't want to do shield. You could no, do shield bash. Use... If you click it second, then it won't affect your speed. And then you don't burn it because you're just using the bottom base movement. Yeah, you would want to yeah, put spare it, dagger. It, it, it will get back. discarded though, and I kind of want to use it. Like, you can refresh it with a rest while we're in the next room, though. Like, yeah, I don't think you need it like urgently. I think that's probably your best bet. All right. Yeah, you just have to make sure you could slow one first. I mean, it's, it's fine. We're probably gonna have to rest right. again at some point. Yeah, I would think so. Look at me, I'm fast as fuck, boy!
Oh, I'm ready to go get coffee in a minute. One game, one of those caffeine withdrawal headaches. Oh, oh, that's that's a bad one. I just needed to make sure I was after Bradley. Yes. To move to his tile. All right, so I'm gonna go throwing knives. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, if only I could reach the other guy with it too. I can't. Does it's it actually my turn. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it kills him. <laughs> nice. And then I'm just gonna. I can't actually pull the go towards you. Can you pull gold? You can. What the? No. Wait, wait, no, no, no! Pull, pull the pile no, in front of me under your feet. You can't. You can't pull them. I tried. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll I just... thought I could for a second there because <laughs> the tile was highlighted. I mean, didn't didn't you say about disadvantage? Can you? Oh wait, no. So you're opening the door, Bruce. If only I was one tile further up, I could have pulled the other guy for the trap. Too. Open door. Oh well. Kicking through the door. Oh, oh no! You yeah, find yourself I face to face down. with the reason these bandits chose this particular hole. We should nesting. maybe try to lure and them out to here. Unholy but but there's loot in the back room. <laughs> okay, but we can if we can lure the skeletons out here, we can hide from the archers. I mean, and then the once we kill the skeletons, we could go in for the loot. Damn, I can't believe they're teaming up with skeletons. Um, what should I do? Should I hit the archer behind me for two? Um, or? I actually, I have a long-term plan here. So we I'm going to kill the archer behind us yet. first. Okay. And then what we want to do is lure the skeletons into the room, and as soon as they come in. Have Nathan push one of them into the trap. Yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to spend my turn here anyway, so. Yeah, you can't get away. But yeah, we need Nathan to get close enough to push them once they walk in here. Oh, nice! Damn. I wish I could be a dodgy bitch. <laughs> How is he so tanky? That had a plus one and still only did one damage, so his attack did zero by default. What the fuck? This <laughs> is like, what? Yeah, yeah, zero I... attack. Oh, damn. But yeah, Very weird. yeah, we can take out the archer, and then if Nathan's just in position to push the guy when he comes in. And then I could actually probably pull him through another trap. If need be. Nice. I'm going to take so much damage now. <laughs> oh. I have an idea. But we just need Bradley to not die. Okay, he can burn a card if he has to. Mm, don't burn yet. No, 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 it's fine. I've got a health potion anyway, so at the end of my turn I can just heal for free anyway. Yes. Okay, I have to short rest and I hope I don't lose a good card. Alright, so what's the plan here? I don't want to lose Smoke Bomb. It's one of my best cards. <laughs> like, I know we want them to enter the yeah. room. So, so we, we want the Bradley to get back in here. Yeah, do bear in mind my and... priority is going to be very slow. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should short rest. My Maybe, yeah, again, priority so. would be 32. I don't... You uh... want to go slow, Nath, and hope that they move into the room so that you can push them immediately. Yeah. So I want to use Lord I... Trim, but do you think... I would be too fast if I prioritize 32. I don't know what their speed is. Yeah, um, that, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Let me see it. Because they. I, I could become fast. slow as fuck. Like, I could 64. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move two steps back and then shoot a proximity mine. In the doorway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's. Proximity mine is exactly what I was hoping you would say you'd do. <laughs> I'm going to move a little bit and then go invisible. Yeah, I, I'm because when I'm invisible, I do double damage. Be as slow as possible. So 64. Yeah. And then 32. Well, so that's the treasure chest in the corner then. I'm hoping that they outspeed me and just walk into the room afterwards. 
Oh, thank God. They do. Yes. Well, the skeletons don't. Which. Oh. Yeah, sucks. the only the other two. Son of a which bitch. Actually <laughs> sucks so badly. They're so slow. Um. Yeah. Okay. New plan. New plan. Um. <laughs> well, first I'm just gonna move a little. Ah, uh, I used my pushes. No. No. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Okay, you got. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Up. You... I can't move. Well, I can't move to pull because they're both bottoms. Ah, oh, shit. All right, look, I'm gonna move here, and then I'm gonna go invisible. Okay. And then whatever I hit next will take double damage, which means whatever I attack next, I can one shot as long as it doesn't get nullified. It's it's fine, Ava. We're just gonna have to. What is it? Uh, I'm sorry, man, but you're just gonna have a bit of sheet. At least Bradley can block the door with his proximity line. Yeah. Let me be able to just push his vibe. That's. <laughs> oh, I won't let you place it on the goal. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> uh... Oh, I didn't want it. To... Uh... Uh... Uh, I thought I could. Uh, I don't know why. I thought I could shoot it out with some distance. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I, I knew you couldn't, but I didn't remember that you couldn't place it on the gold tile. Well, that sucks. Oh, no. oh, How did you heal? I don't see. Yeah. I had a health you. potion. Oh, oh okay. you bought the item. Uh, I mean, I. I guess you. I would love to be able to long rest, but because because of Nathan's battle goal, we can't really afford to long rest much because we have to keep rolling. I hate them. I hate the skill points. Uh, yeah, their slowness is two, shit. And uh, I could sweep and blow and. You could, yeah. You could just damage to him. Um, actually, what's their range for me right now? One, two, three. I can hit them both with throwing knives next turn if the card's active. Let me check. Mm, no, it's discarded. Son of a bitch. Uh, <sighs> short rest. I short rest. Okay. Right? I, yeah. Uh, if you hit them with sweeping blow and I short rest and don't have to discard throwing knives, I could kill both of them. Because my next attack is doubled from being invisible. Oh, they got shielding. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine, you might get high rolls. Yeah, you might get a decent plus. Oh. The modifier deck flips per enemy. Oh my god. Wow. Well, there goes my plan. Yes. You'd think that at least get rid of their shielded. Yeah, that's just not how shielding works in this game. <laughs> Probably accept and burn like crazy. We would burn on this one because it's a three. The other guys could roll less, but you could burn less cards in the long run, accepting now. I mean, burning now even. Because like, you could nullify three and then the other guys could each do one damage, right? And like, how many burned cards have you got? Oh, you're the army you bought only nullifies um, times two attack cards basically, which is very good, but it doesn't do anything for anything that's not a times I, I two. I thought they just used the times two card. Um, I could burn a card and then hit both those skeletons for free. Um, I can probably kill one if I can get into the room. I could burn a card. The problem is getting into the room. I need, before. I need Nathan to be able to move for me to be able to reach either of them. Uh, What's your fastest card, Nate? 15. Yes, I can go 33. Uh, if you can move into the room, 
I can come in and probably kill one of them. Do you have your push? I have a move push. You do have a push. If you can separate those two enemies, I can get my buff against enemies that aren't next to anyone. I can pretty much guarantee a one shot as long as I don't get nullified. Okay. What do you want? So if you could like them? move and then just push one of them so that they're both apart. It doesn't matter which one you move. Like I can just hit whoever's still there. Uh, you you won't be in the doorway, will you? I will be in the doorway. It's the it's as far as I can move. Well, actually, no. I can if Nathan moves the one of the skeletons, I can move into the tile they end up in. They're moving. Oh up. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, move the non-elite guy. Move the non-elite guy out of that tile, and I'll move to it and kill the elite. Well, all of my pushes are on the moves. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, just move and then just move push. Yeah, you can just do what do move push. Well, I won't be able to. You, oh, you, you won't be able to move. You push first, and then. Oh, because you can't. You, you move, you can move first, through. and then you push. Yeah, you can't move through enemies, can you? Shit. No. Well, no, you don't actually need to be able to move. You can just ignore the movement and push, and then I can move yeah. into the empty tile. It makes. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't so, matter. Yeah, you can stay. I, I didn't know if you needed me to move at all. No, uh, as long door. as you can push one of them before I move. So I'll go 33. And then, yeah, just push the um, non-elite guy out of the way if you can. 33, I'll go kill bear. Uh, what push do I want to use? I kind of want to keep that one. Yes. Yes. Wait, can you push oh, enemy sideways? Okay, or that, does it have to be in a straight line? That one actually pushes forward, Jason, enemies. That's not good, because I can only move to that tile. Yeah, so I need to use the overwhelming. That's so good. Well, actually, if you push both of them, like if they're getting pushed to the side, which is the only direction I think you can push them, I could still get to them. So you can't you can do that, that'd be fine. Do you think I should? If you prefer the card, then yeah, go for it. Well, I'm hoping. Just do whichever one you prefer to keep the card on. Alright. I mean, if you can push them left and right, I might run up the middle and try for that treasure chest. We're gonna see them. We're gonna see how it pushes them. It just says it pushes adjacent enemies. Yeah, but it lets you pick what tile to move them to. The oh, uh, the oh. two the two diagonal are obstacles, so you can't push into those. So you can only push uh, forward or to the sides. God damn, these guys are fast. Oh, now they're fast. Okay. Well, they're outspeeding me. All right. Should I attack the elite? Um, no, I can probably one shot him. Um, if I don't get nullified, I'm guaranteed a one shot. Actually, minus two won't even be enough to stop me. No. Oh, that was close. Now shove them out of my way. Skip movement. Alright. So, do I just click on them? Yeah, and then if you just move them left and right. You have to confirm targets, I think, which would be a button for that. So yeah, you... yeah. and then uh... just pick, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be putting it on both of them. No, uh, no, you, so you have, have to, to do it one, one confirm target and move them and then do it again. Yeah. Yeah, move them move them to the sides each, yeah. Yeah. And then you you'll push him and then it'll ask you to pick the second target. Oh, okay. That's some fucking See? bad breath. You even got the dead to move out of the way. He doesn't even have a nose. Confirm. And then you wanna me to push him to the If you push him forward, Bradley has line of sight from in the room actually. He might be able to finish him off. Alright, so you Push him where the uh, push him forward, yeah. Because yeah, Bradley wouldn't have line of sight if you pushed him right, but he can get line of sight there. Alright. 
I didn't know how that was gonna work just then. He's got the range for it too, god damn. God damn. That's annoying. I wanted to be close, I wanted to hit. Oh, you can hit a triangle, yeah. You could hit the um, you'd hit the archer and the elite. You'd hit three of them, I think. No? No, no, you no. Could it hit the, break hit the, don't, don't hit the elite, but yeah, hit the other two. Uh yeah, yeah. If you if you hit the two going back into the room, because I can like I said, I can one shot the elite as long as I don't get nulled. Yeah, I'm gonna move three. So you're moving into the room and then you would need to be You have a triangle, right? So you can't actually hit them. He can't hit all three, he can hit two out of three. Uh, so what am I doing? Am I finishing off the skeleton and hitting one of the archers, or am I hitting both archers? Yeah, and uh, no, I hit the finish the skeleton because then that's just one less action to worry about. Because he's still got an action to play this turn. That's the thing, right? So he. Can... I think. I think he's stuck. Mm, the archer is. The skeleton wasn't. There was something on the archer. Then after I kill this elite, I want to bum rush the chest. Oh shit! My path into the room is blocked. Shit. Shit. Damn. <sighs> okay, I can do something else, don't worry. I actually planned this it was around the possibility that this could happen. Don't worry. I, I accounted for this possibility. Uh, you have to nullify, because otherwise you die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I understand death. Uh... <laughs> Nathan's just going to be burning all those cards. It's okay, we're almost, we're almost there. Action economy's not going too bad. I'm gonna get the chest, most likely, because I have a loot too, so if I stand on the gold, I should be able to get all three things on that side. Mm. Like, after the elite. I'm gonna kill the elite and then leave the others to you. One, two, three. Actually, I don't know. Can I kill the elite this turn still, or will I have to just finish off the archer? Um, I'm no, I can't kill the elite this turn unless I get a really good roll. Nah, I think you would just burn that. Wait, Wait did he, he get to attack twice? Oh yeah, he's got target three, so he, if I was there, he could have attacked me as well. <laughs> God damn. And he got move to attack two target three and heal two self on his card this turn. That's kind of okay. Good thing we didn't damage him. Yeah, otherwise it would have been released. Ooh, five damage. God yeah, damn. Why are you burning? <laughs> it's a shame that I'm slower than the archers, or I could have stopped one of them from acting as well. God damn. Um, you still have a push card, don't you, Nathan? Uh, I think I would have to short rest. Oh, I was gonna say, now that my plan to kill the elite is a bus, our best option, if he still has the card, probably be Bradley's proximity mine, but I don't know if he's burned it. No, I haven't burned it. Because you can push. Because, yeah, yeah, my invisibility card burns, so this is the only chance I'll have to use it. And it's kind of going to end up being a waste, most likely. Oh, maybe not. I can do I can do a little bit of damage to the elite. Because it would be a waste to use it on the Archer, but it's got one health at this point. Invisible. Do, 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 do. Damn. Hello. Oh, um, my buff is still active. My basic two attack on my bottom card right now has the possibility of hitting seven on the skeleton. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Like, what the hell? No! Oh, no! Wow. Why? All that right, was my we... doubled attack and the I think probably the last proc of my buff. Oh my god. No. Okay. Question. Can I trample through Kieran? <laughs> uh, it would probably kill me, I but I think you can. 
Um, I could I long... to move through the skeleton, move through the archer, finish the archer off, and then hit the. Um, the if, if I long rest, I will heal too. How much damage does Trample do? Dude, I have no more cards. Same. What what? Um, I, I, I can I... only rest one more time, I'm and too. then I'm done. And then. I've only short rested two times. Why are there six cards? Some of your cards just burn. I'm pretty uh, sure. We I have did... to try and end them this turn. The chest is probably a right off at this point. I'm going to short rest and hope I get good cards back. Well, I can't short rest. Yes, it got rid of throwing knives. But my initiative is very, very shit. Uh, I'm gonna. What is it? I'm gonna use net shot. So I'll do free um, damage to the bandit archer and the uh, elite archer. As as long as I don't get nullified again, I can kill the elite. Like so I I'm gonna poison him and then I'm gonna hit him. For a minimum of five, plus one for poison. Like I don't know if friendly fire's in this or not. Wait, do you have the enhancement deal, Bradley? No, uh, no, I don't. Oh well, I yeah, I can do six damage. He's got shielding, so I can't guarantee a one shot. I'd have to roll plus one to one shot him. I mean, I could move one step back and then place the proximity mine in front. I don't have a pull anymore. Yeah, I'm too slow. Move and poison. Poison is already. And then I can attack him for five plus one for poison, which should be six minus one for shield, so five. So I have plus one to kill. I mean, yeah. okay. Oh! I'm getting bad luck here. That's my last turn. I think no, I can do one. I have a short rest. Yeah, I can't burn a card. The, the, so if the other enemies attack me, I'm dead. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. At least he oh, lucky he's done some bitches. Yeah, if I if I get killed here, I'm out because I can't burn a card and have another action. Wait, like, yeah, I've got to burn two discarded. Yeah. And I can't because I'll go out, so I just have to take damage. And die. Oh, I got such bad luck on all my modifier cards just now. Seriously, I had so many opportunities to end stuff. No, and it no all went way. so badly. You're a ranged character, you don't need to move. One, two. I've been immobilized, Kieran, I can't move. Anyways, yeah, trample. Didn't you say they should... get disadvantage or something like that if Nathan walks up to them? Yeah, yeah, you get disadvantage on ranged attacks on enemies standing next to Done. Nice! nice. Naruto was, on for the win. That, that was the overwhelming plan. assault! Yeah. Plus one. Plus one. Oh. Oh. It, okay. Well. Okay. Do we do we want the treasure chest? Because I, I could grab How it. many actions do we have left? Like if we're taking risks here, how many cards have you guys got left? Zero. Like how, how okay, many more turns? That, that was my last turn. Okay, but are they discarded? Like can you get enough back to take another action or are they burned? Most of my cards have burned. Like, how many do you have in discard? Like, if you rested, uh, I think would you get only two one back? in discard. Oh yeah, you're done then. Yeah. Bradley, how many cards have you got left? I I do have enough to. Oh yeah, I can't I can't move. Oh, it's yeah, fine. You can't I'll move. Just... Yeah. You're gonna need to do Wait. this one damage. Honestly. If we fail the scenario because we try to fucking loot with this guy was the one health, like that's. Uh. Yeah. Okay. We just got dicked over by me rolling so many negative modifiers back to back. I don't back. know what happened to my cards because I know I wasn't using the ones with burn effects until the end there when I used the so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you can pick up gold. Right? He was immobilized, he can't move. The last bandit dead. You take a moment to catch your breath. I mean, there's no more and enemies. steal yourself on, against now. the we'll visions of living remains. It would if they would last, wouldn't it? Yes. I failed my battle goal. Your target because I died. Is not among the dead. 
and you shudder to think what horrors I mean, still we await you in the catacombs below. But at what cost? Well, I got my Why? Aggressor because. Oh, I'm sad. I didn't get any perk points. They're very valuable. Uh, I killed the most enemies. I did 53 damage in total. I earned the most XP by a lot. <laughs> I took the most damage. <laughs> yeah, that, we got an epic no, game to, to be honest, that of first room was dicking me over, but I'm glad that we had healers. I just got screwed by the fucking modifiers there. Like, that was dicey. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to... I was like, he still has a shield. Oh, uh, what do we do with the perk point? So perk points can be placed into, if you click the cross swords on the left, hmm. you use them to get changes to your modifier deck. Okay. Okay. So the best thing to do initially with perk points is to try and remove their negative cards from your modifier deck. So you'll get like focus, which replaces a minus one with a plus one, intensify, which replaces minus two with plus zero. Damn, we really out here with no gold. And you got two perk points, didn't you, Bradley? I think maybe got one. I think I got two. But you, um, you basically. No, I got one. So if you collect three perk points, you get to pick a perk, which is yeah, you can add your deck, make that modify. Where deck do you use them? The crossed swords. If you look on the left next okay. to your character. But yeah, you won't. You won't, you have to collect three to oh, actually you need three. Set them. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can use them to mess with your modified deck. And then we need to go back to Gloomhaven and do our city event before we move to the next quest. I need to get that times two shit. I'm gonna go make a coffee because my head is killing me. <laughs> like, I need the caffeine so badly. Um, I'll change my mic over to the other one so I can still chat in case we have Gloomhaven related. Uh, I'm glad that I today. saved those two cards at the end. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking. Me getting nullified on two of my biggest attacks back to back because I short rested and put it back in my deck, and I got multiple minus twos up as well. Like that was fucking bullshit. But like getting I... nullified on my invisibility, where I get double damage. <laughs> I'm glad I took zero damage at the end there. Yeah, they fucking shot me twice and murdered me when I could have taken another turn realistically. I think I had one yeah, I had one card left to burn, so I could survive, but if they did enough damage, it was just over. Okay, I had um, I had one card left in hand and one in discard, so I could have gotten away I had two in discard. I could have gotten away with a short rest if I did. Yeah. I oh so we have to what is it? We didn't get a perk point, we got um like you get points three towards total. unlocking one, yeah. yeah. You get a perk point, and three perk points gets you a perk. Yeah, I, I've got two at the moment, and I need another one. And yeah, like getting perks is probably the most valuable thing in the game. Consistency. Can we like share like gold and stuff like that with each other? Um, I don't remember. I think you can. But it's been a long time. I don't remember what the rules are about that. I could grab down the actual tabletop game and look at the rule book. <laughs> Honestly, getting rid of two minus one cards seems pretty good. Oh, yeah, different characters have different perk options. Getting rid of two minus ones for one perk is very valuable. <laughs> Mine has options like um, replace minus ones with plus ones, but you only do one at a time. Yeah. And then uh, if you get prosperity up, which is like a like it's a stat for the city and not for the characters, you, your new characters will start with more perk points and gold, basically. 
I have oh, something going out first that ends up to, on the to Gloomhaven, or...? Uh, yeah, you can do a city event, if you go back to the city. So, um, I believe city events are optional, but, like, you can get some good stuff out of them, and road events are not optional, so if you move on to another quest, it'll make you do a road event. Yeah, it was saying that we just unlocked Linked Crest, where you have to keep doing missions one after another. Yeah, they're, like, part of a storyline, basically. So you can go back to town in between them, or you can even just go off and do a different quest, like, it's not... It doesn't force you to continue the link storyline. It just tells you that they're kind of connected. We didn't get like any items or anything that we can sell, right? No. No, we didn't get to do any looting that fucking round. And seriously, it's literally just because I like modified egg dick to be over so consistently. Well, I feel like our tactics, like for all of us, were pretty good. I but mean... RNG was like, fuck you specifically, rogue. <laughs> Oh wait, is Alex still watching the stream? No, I'm Tekken. Oh, you're on Tekken. I was about to say, Alex, I heard that Tekken is bad now. Yeah, I've seen all of the complaints about the fucking battle pass. <laughs> all right, I've selected to go to the. Really, they've added a fucking battle pass to it. <sighs> well, and the other thing is, apparently, the latest patch is super unbalanced and introduced a bunch of bugs and they added a dlc character who is apparently super op and you can't lab against him unless you buy him oh wow so like the latest patch just basically made everybody just lose their shit and start complaining about the game Oh, and they still refuse to implement any system to punish people for removing their internet during a match and quitting. Well, you can report them again, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, but you have to, like, each player has to have, like, a visible record of plugging to get banned. So most people aren't going to be affected. Like, it only hits people like LTG because he does it regularly on street with proof. <laughs> Your average plugger isn't actually going to get banned. Red, you must be happy that we succeeded at that bandit layer, finally. We've finally done one! Yes. That's I can hold my head up high. Have you had any pluggers online, Alex? Because it hasn't happened to me yet. No. I am. Apparently we've updated the disconnection rate as well, so it shows who plugs yeah. on. I, um, I actually double perfected a guy and he still didn't plug on me. Like, it's not been too bad. Nathan actually watched that match, like, this guy got a perfect on me, and then he come, came back for the rematch, and I did two in a row on him. <laughs> he made me see the Matrix, like Alex did. <laughs> I do need to get back on that game, though. But after a little bit more game, I've got some school work to do today, because it's the last week of the semester, and I have to make sure all my work is done. And there's so much of it, and it's all so complicated. Programming is hard. I mean, right, the, first, the first couple of semesters, I was like, oh my god, this is so easy, because I had a little bit of past experience. And then we got to like the fourth semester, and I was like, this is getting complicated now. Mm. We're doing like, probably like, programming like a server and everything, and then... On the bright side, though, I now know how to do server programming, so if I wanted to work on a game at some point, I could technically make it multiplayer. I mean, I remember you said you wasn't feeling confident about that, so I mean, at least you're learning something at school. I'm learning something valuable. I kind of, I think I showed you guys my golf game that I worked on for one of my assignments. I kind of want to go back and work yeah. on that some more. I feel like it could actually be really good. I feel like I actually had a really good base for something there. Are you going to offer it for free, or...? I don't know, I'd have to work on it and see where it's at. I might actually talk to Corey, because he's a 3D modeler. I think he posted like a link to his game that he's been working on with friends. You should ask you if you can stream that game for us. It's a horror. I'd actually take a look at it and try playing it. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You haven't raised it up, though. I just yeah, did. 
That's right, when I said I'm ready, Nate, and I fucking meant it! Nice. If I just ask the merchant to put a down payment on some weapons, you think he'd allow me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, allow Can me. Can I just do an IOU? I ain't getting 200 gold if 4 gold is the most I'm getting. <laughs> Some of the quests will give you gold as a reward. You don't actually have to loot all of it. You can get gold in other means. But then I have to hoard it as well. Oh no, that's so happy. <laughs> City encounter! Well, the thing is, I want decent gear before I start hoarding. <laughs> if we hoard anyway. We help uh, are we gonna help? help? I think we should help. Mm. I think we should be good citizens. See? We got five gold each. That's more than I picked up from that mission. <laughs> you can also sell stuff. Friendly like, can you've actually got... buy a potion now. <laughs> oh my god, my head is fucking yeah, horrible. Yeah, we don't have Ooh, anything to sell. Ah. Why, don't... <laughs> Why don't you understand, Kieran? What I mean is, like, if you wanted to change what loot you've got, for example, you could sell back that armor you bought. Oh yeah, my but god, like, this headache is brutal. You don't even get half back. Yeah. It's... Like, it's not worth it. Oh, have you guys checked out the Temple of the Great Oak? No. no. <laughs> Waifu. So basically, for 10 gold, you can add two more two times attack modifiers to your deck for the next encounter. So it's like a temporary thing, but like if you're in, like expecting to go into something really, really difficult, you can basically whack two more of those in there. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really our damage dealer, so I don't think it... No, that would be something that I would probably want to invest in in the future, like if we're going into something really mm. difficult. I don't know if I should buy... I can buy either hide armor or um, the iron helmet, or if I should just save. I would say for now. Iron Helmet is really good, because it's um it's a passive one, like it doesn't expire, like it just does that. Mm. It just makes all two times modifiers plus zero, which is very, very good. Any... You basically become immune to being critted. You may only complete one city. Yeah, so like you can oh, look no. at the icons in the bottom right of them to see how they work, so because the Iron Helmet doesn't have one, it's permanent. That well the Cloak of Invisibility gets discarded when you use it, so you can only do it once per encounter. Yeah. Hide armor comes back on a long rest. I, I don't wanna fight the bandit commander. <laughs> can we fight well, the Harrow Hive? Oh my head. The Harrow Hive is gonna be harder than the Bandit Commander, I just hope you yeah. know. I didn't realize how far away it was. The distance doesn't necessarily matter, but if you just look at like the enemy types in there... Um, attackers gain disadvantage on Night Demons. Yeah, Night Demons are sketchy. Uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy the Iron Helmet, because I feel like that sounds quite good. Harrow or Infestors have Retaliate. Uh, Giant Vipers only have three health. Actually, the Harrow and S might not be that bad. It gives a treasure chest as a reward. We could try the Harrow and S. We're gonna go for the undead fuckers. I was just reading over the enemy stats, and they're not as bad as I remember them being. Besides the Harrow Investor, who is a dickhead. Well, we did get it really early, and uh -huh. they're all level one. He, yeah, he um, Retalia, retaliate doesn't have any range, so me and Bradley might be able to deal with the Investor from a distance. I mean, Nath has his throwing knife. Yeah. And Living Bones has to target as an innate stat, so he... We don't want to surround him, basically. Because you know, he can just hit us both and do more damage. Okay, right, I'm gonna... So, we want the uh, the hive, right? I think so, I'm interested in molting the treasure chest. Alright. Well, I mean, we didn't get the treasure chest last time. This one's just a reward. Yeah, it's, it, um... it's just a reward. Um... Oh no, it's not, you still have to loot it. Well, we can give it a shot. Really? That? We can... Um... I don't know if we're out of repeat scenarios, but if we are, we could go back to the other place at some point once we've got some more perks and just fucking clear it out and get the chest. Yeah, can't we just go back and just 
run by. <laughs> we should get we should get perks first, and we could probably play it more safe if we don't have to worry about Nathan's like aggression quest as well. Oh, like we'd be able to clear out a room and long rest instead of button rushing. Well, yeah, we shouldn't go back yet. We should go back with perks just to make sure that we guarantee that we're strong enough. Yeah. Can we get any perks from this? You'll get perk points like, from. Uh, yeah, I think every time you have you'll a get, uh, scenario, you get quest, yeah. quest, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll get a battle quest every time you start a scenario. Uh, we're just waiting on you to select your friend. I always forget that I have to click it at the bottom right there. I always, like, actually clicked onto the thing on the world map, and it makes the buttons on the bottom disappear. Do I want to <laughs> remove minus ones or add plus so ones? So you think you've got what it takes. I normally got to removing. Is it just increases your odds enough to live a long, fruitful life and not have your time in this world cut short by some lucky vermling's blade? I think is if you add plus ones, then you've got higher odds of getting plus ones. But one good eye. If you remove negatives, then they're just not, they're not there, right? Like, yeah, they're just you not confidently there. answer his question nonetheless. <laughs> well, you've got the stones at least. He laughs. That's well, something. But it's far from everything. Words come straight from the capital that there's a group of harrowers slaughtering people on the East Road. We don't know why, but we think we've located Harrow was somewhere south at the edge of the. I mean, I gotta be honest. If they're like, you know, the grunts Trouble of the fucking, we can't find <laughs> like, I, I'd, I'd hate to see like, you know, the the fucking main them. guy's probably fucking what got some peacock say? feathers behind him or Are some you shit. For the challenge, you could come back a hero. Or you could just get your face sucked off by the bug man. <laughs> well, don't forget our faces sucked off. Oh, oh. I want to get my face sucked Wait. off. And then count I want to get sucked off. Alright, well, we got a. Take the puppy and bring it back to Gloomhaven? I feel like. We'll probably gain something from that, but they'll probably be a downside. Like, we'll start with, like, one less card or something like that. Maybe, like, just, like, to mimic exhaustion, based on my knowledge of how this game works. Because we're going back to Gloomhaven and all the way back out again. I'm assuming we'll get something from the puppy's owner, but we'll have some kind of mild negative effect on us at the start of combat. I mean, right, right, right. I'm going to go with save the puppy. What the yeah, everyone want to I would, do? I would probably save the puppy. All right, save the puppy, save right. Making it clear that I think there will be a downside. Okay, save the puppy. Nice, we got room. Oh, yeah, we gain three minus one attack modifiers when we get reputation. Oh, we are fucked. <laughs> it's fine, I don't really end up attacking, so it don't really bother me. Reputation is very valuable. Yeah, but also... Right, choose one. one, one oh, we have to choose one, Bradley. Me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If... We all got that. <laughs> to back down that would be fucked, yeah. <laughs> you make your way to the Watcher Mountains, where the old man said there'd be a harrower hive. Right. You wander through the foothills for hours without finding any sort of evidence of it. And then you begin to hear a faint buzzing. You approach the nearby cliff face and it grows louder. The harrowers are in the rocks. <clears throat> And you're going to have to dig them out. Oh, we're gonna get fucked. Dig them out? No. All right. Neutralize the cause of tracking. Use no items on during the scenario. I don't have any items. Wait, have one or more monsters present on the map at the beginning I... of every round during? That's the, the one scenario. Nathan had last time. Oh, I'd get two perk points for it though. We have to be ballsy. Mine actually is two perk points for not looting anything, so I don't want to be doing any looting. I get, I, I have one. Oh god. I get two perk points for not using an item, and does armor count as an item? It's not used. No, it's just passive. So yeah, you'll yeah, be no, fine. I, I'm just gonna go for that then. <laughs> right. So I can either get the aggressor one, or I can go for which will give me two, or I can go for the plunderer, which basically I just have to loot the treasure chest. Go for the aggressor. I feel like we'll be fine. It's worth getting. If we can all get two perk points off this, like that would be really good. Especially since I didn't get one off the last one. At all? 
No, because I it was I was supposed to finish with full health, and I could have because I had my heal card, but I got bummed on the last turn and died. Oh yeah, there are rocks in our way. But it stuns all enemies on the other Whoa, side. Oh, have we got to attack the rocks? Oh, we've got to attack yeah. rocks. How much health do the rocks have? Four. Oh. Dude, why are these tanky ass rocks? Christian, do you get any like different cards as you play, or are these? As you level up, you'll unlock new cards, yeah. but you have to swap cards in and out of your deck, basically. So like, you'll have a limit to how many you're allowed to have. Yeah, I, I just wanted to know if we're just stuck with the skills we'll give. Nah, you'll unlock some pretty crazy stuff as you level up, honestly. It's immune to all conditions. It's immune to shit. I mean, I could stuff. ink bomb. And then just blow up all of them in one go. That could be good, yeah. I think it's not actually letting me take a turn. I think it's making you do this. Like, I, I don't have an option to act. Yeah, like, it's currently just a Breath of Blade's turn for me. So I guess yeah. Ink Bomb would just blow it all up. And it's, it's like a slow card, right? So it's kind of like you're not wasting anything. But it's burn. That's the one. I, I, I would burn it, yeah. Yeah, all it's, of your AoEs are burn. It's it's like my strongest attack, so I would save it. Because you get XP for each targeted enemy as well. Like if you can hit three enemies with it, you get three XP. I mean, I'd be hitting three walls. Is that three? Oh, never mind. Actually, no, I'd only be able to hit two. No, one of them's a all door. Right. So, I'll just, it's fine, I'll just run. Well, we only really need to destroy one of them anyway, and then we can just open the door, right? I think. Maybe? I don't see why not. They also didn't let us pick our starting positions on this map. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, if you just destroy one, I feel like we should be able to just open the door, right? In fact, I feel like that has to be the case, because otherwise Aggressor would be impossible to complete, because when you destroy the second wall, there'd be no enemies left. Mm. It's annoying, because that enhanced field also has the plus three range attack for me, so I kind of wanted to enhance and then shoot, basically to do four, but... Yeah. You could do flame. Does flamethrower have enough damage to do it? I know it's a burn as well, but like, does it? I don't think it gives you XP the same way that Ink Bomb does. Yeah, what does flamethrower do? Oh, it's only three. And it does wound as well. And, I think, and it know. burns the cards, so like, you don't want to do yeah. that. Yeah. So you just count on the count on getting a plus one off your modifiers, I guess. But you've got like three extra minus ones in your deck. Oh my god, this headache is brutal. Oh. <laughs> Christ. I had two double espressos this morning, and I'm not a coffee drinker. Like, I should be enough caffeine to get rid of this headache. I, I gotta be honest, I, I don't see how I'm supposed to continue this. I've selected my... <laughs> oh! Oh, I have to choose three cards to discard. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, is that what that thing was? It, maybe it wasn't for modifiers. Maybe it was literally oh. making you get rid of three cards. Oh, shit. Shit. That's even we should worse. never save that puppy. We should have kicked that Don't... puppy to the side. Honestly, I would get rid of some of the ones that burn, because they're going to go away anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Energize and Tonic, because that basically both options are just burn. I feel like Net Shooter hasn't been that useful to us. I feel like... I mean, I don't think we've gotten that much option as use that next year. I would save Ink Bomb even though it burns because it's just so good. Damn, that might. Jesus Christ, that might. That puppy like fucked us over. Oh no, Net Shooter gives XP. If we're gonna burn one of those, I'd burn Flame Tower instead because you could get three XP off Net Shooter. 
You need that. I mean, then you so get three. Yes. Flamethrower is a flat two, but net shooter could give you three. Mm -hmm. And it immobilizes. So, what gives you XP in this? It's just. It just like, cards that say, like, you will have a little star icon on them, like a little XP symbol. But is there any other way to gain XP in them? Quests reward a flat amount of XP depending on the difficulty level, I believe. Because I was gonna say, I think I think we got four XP at the end of the last one or something close to that. A lot of my ones only give me one, and I'm just like, damn, I ain't leveling up. <laughs> yeah, you're a fire type. You got slow XP progression. I'm a bug type. <laughs> I got lots of XP on my cards. Oh, I don't know what to get rid. I might get rid of Toxic Bolt. Nah, it definitely sucks. No, I Toxic Bolt has an attack on the bottom, like it burns, but that's so valuable if you need to just do two attacks in one turn. Like, bottom attacks and top movements are some of the most valuable things you can have in this game. Yeah. Oh, I just don't know what to get rid of. Uh, I don't know what I would have got rid of. I would definitely oh. not get rid of Reinvigorating because it's worth Potentially like eight cards if we use it early enough on me. Yeah, Fred, do you still have healing potion? That's crazy. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't burn. It's oh, just one I thought it did counter. get burned. No, you, you use it once, and you can't use it again for the rest of the battle. Okay. Buy it. Buy it. Healing. Potion. Maybe grapple hook. It's like it's my only thing that can pull. And I can pull. I get rid of grapple hook. Maybe I've got a pull. Nathan's got a push. I mean, I, I do need I do need to loot the. Uh, wait, no, no, that's not the one. I, I have aggressor, don't I? Okay, yeah. Right, I'm discarding these. That puppy. Fuck that puppy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they start off discarded. They're not burnt. Wait. Do you, oh. do you also have to discard. Oh, do we all have to discard? Shit. What is happening? What the fuck? Where did this come from? Yeah. This can't be the other thing then, because we had to pick someone to do it. Like, yeah. what is this? What is... Okay, okay, what okay. I want this card single out. Okay, I guess game. I'll just put my cans, venom, shiv, and thief snack. Okay, game, you can just skip me. I just, I just knew which ones I wanted to discard. I know my cards inside and out. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what, what, what did you... Nathan's character just like thump his chest and been like, nah. Because it was my. He's mad. He's mad about it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to discard any of them, but I knew which ones were my preference. <laughs> Trample is so good. Trample is very good. Yeah, I mean, you'll get it back when you rest. I honestly think grab and go is not that good. Yeah, they just start yes. the round. They just start the discarded. That's all. Yeah, they're not, they're not burned. They're just discarded. Uh, I want to keep those. Uh... Oh, they just get discarded. Okay. Yeah, they'll just start off discarded. I mean, I'd probably say an eye for an eye. I don't know what retaliate does. I like it for the heal. Retaliate like, I, means I, I... that when he gets hit, he'll attack back, basically. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it... So what you want to do with I, I for an Eye is just run in, get yourself surrounded, and pop it, because you'll get a bunch of XP. Yeah. So you actually, you would pair it with Warding Strength, so that you can take less damage. Basically, yeah. you'd put Warding Strength on first, run in, put Retaliate on. That actually might be our best bet here, actually, if you could do that. You'd run in, you'd get so much damage off it, because each Retaliate is two damage, it looks like. The only problem is I wouldn't be able to move after doing both of those. That's fine. I mean, just like, and yeah, eye for an eye doesn't burn, so you could use it again after a short rest. You could use that to XP farm. Wait, if you get surrounded by enough enemies, you could get like four XP. Like, Shield Bash is so good. It's unlikely, but the most XP you could possibly get off one use of an eye for an eye would be six, because you can have six enemies around you. Uh, it's one of these three. Oh my god, his headache is fucking. 
Oh my god. And then we choose where we start. Yep. Alright, I'll stop forward a bit, I guess. I mean, I'm happy where I am. One, two, hit. I think I saw run. I can try and blow up both of the things, actually. I can just do throwing knives. God, I wish I had a move top card. Um, I'm actually just going to go nothing but buffs this turn, maybe. And I might put my buff on and make myself invisible. Uh, I'm willing to attack the wall for 4 damage. I'm going to just buff myself up and do no... I mean, I've, I've just got a... Uh, I'm going to get stunning shot ready and then I've, I've just got loads of movement, basically. Yeah. So if you make a hole for me... Wait, okay. uh... I'll uh, I'll move last, so if you make a hole, I can run through and do something. Hopefully. And I am not moving or attacking. I'm putting I'm putting a buff on. I'm going invisible, and I'm getting ready to one shot things. <laughs> Trying to think what card to use for the two movement. I in an ideal world. I can kill two things next turn with throwing knives, depending on where their positions are. What movement cards do I have left available to me? I've got a move six that doesn't burn. Yeah, I, if the enemies are in range after a move six, I can throwing knife two things at double damage with a buff. I only need two movement, right? God, you really are suffering, aren't you? Yeah, it's really bad. It's like, oh my god. I'm not even being direct. Like, I don't normally verbally complain when I'm in pain. Like, this is actually just, like, really bad. Oh, damn. Alright, we're going <laughs> deprivation. Oh. What? what, you've not been sleeping? Uh, the baby's been sick a lot, so we've been having a bit of a rough time with that. Stop standing next to each other, you bastards! You're making me use my buff. Dude, he oh, no. went the distance! He got nullified, though. <laughs> yeah, but like, damn. That guy went the- that guy had movement. Did you not see when the skeleton started off? He started around the corner. That's true. Yeah, he had five movement just then. Just remember, we need to make sure there's always an enemy around, so we're going to have to smash down walls before we finish whoever's last. Do we need to... I don't know Bradley if we need that. to smash down both walls, right? No, we just need to make sure that we yeah. smash down another wall to open the next room before the last enemy dies. That's Is what there I mean. another room? I thought... There's multiple other rooms. Look, there's like new walls inside, and you can see the tiles of where the uh, yeah, don't, don't you want to just go off to the left? Uh, if you hover on the icon, it'll tell you what it does. So they can't perform any abilities nor use items on their turn. It's literally like a full stun. So yeah, now that snake can't do anything next turn, basically. Snake! Snake! <laughs> I'm invisible, and I do bonus damage to people who aren't next to their teammates. You're gonna move up to them. In in hindsight, I, I can't. No, we can't. I what is it? I probably should have moved there. My uh, my bottom action was the buff, so I couldn't move. But I can move six now. Like I can literally run right into the fucking room if I want to. I can attack the guy in front of me and push him two into the trap. Yes, I like that. Uh, the only problem is I don't think I have a good second. Um, I'm just what is it? I'm gonna 
like go last in turn order basically i'm going for a slow thing and then i'm gonna heal knife uh yeah if you push that guy nathan i can move on to his tile and do some knife throwing how fast are you being um i can be i could be slow but i actually i don't need i don't need that tile i can reach the enemies if i move to the one next to you anyways i'm just gonna go fast And, like, ideally, I can just one-shot both of them with my drawing knife through invisibility. I don't... so spare there, guys. <sighs> yeah, if you push him into the trap, uh, he should be killable for me. Yeah, I wish I had a move. Actually, what is your speed? So, what inch strength is 32? I can actually go to 33. So then you can push him, and then I can finish him off. Yeah. I can't... The only problem is I can't actually, get anyone else. Actually, actually, if you push him, I think he goes out of my line of sight. I think I do have to go before you. Which is fine, I can do that. I can just go 10 with the same cards that I was going to use. Yeah, if you push him, he goes out of my line of sight from where I'm going to move to. Hi. Hi. Hello. A new friend who this. <coughs> this is. <coughs> hey, this is the game I thought about. It's on sale right now. I uh, know it's it's off now. Oh, it's I'm broke. Anyway. Oh, right. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, right, it's my move. Okay, we're gonna move. Yeah, you said you were gonna be fast. Okay. How much does the trap do, anyway? They should do three. Oh, no, this one's a stun trap. It doesn't actually do damage, it just stuns them. Oh, okay. Shit. Well, fuck. That's okay. I didn't know you were gonna hit so hard. Watch this. Watch this. Well, five. <laughs> oh, five. Yeah, Kieran, Kieran can solo carry. Okay. Well, I don't have to go that far. Oh, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> that guy's had his attack gold twice in a row now, god damn. Oh my god, that guy sucks, he's so weak. He's hit us for zero so far, and he's attacked us three times. Yep. Slimmer. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, <coughs> originally, I was gonna go wall intro. <coughs> but now he's only got one HP. I mean, I feel like you should get your, uh, your defense. You your cleave, you, know, you could kill yeah. three of them. No, 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 he can oh, heal, no, uh, he can heal. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just a skeleton in front. Yeah. But I still think he should do that and then get his shield thing going, because, you know. Yeah, I yeah the shield thing is good to have, because then when we open the next room, you could just run in and put on retaliate. I gotta be honest, I thought, yeah, I thought he was doing the massive burp. Okay, should I just normal attack or should I do the sweeping blow? I mean, it doesn't matter, it's exa it's identical. Yeah. Like, you know, you can only hit one person with it, so... And it doesn't well, burn, I could hit so. Karen. Yeah, he could hit me. God. Are you sure you can't hit the skeleton and the snake? No, 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 it doesn't, sure it's not that, that shape, it's like, just the three I... in front. Yeah, I would need to be Oh, I see where the dot is. Yeah, I see it. It's That's fine. Cool. I mean, um, I could shoot the snake or I can poison the skeleton on my next turn. Alright. Do the default. Yeah. 
Damn, son. I got the minus Look at me one. Doing, me doing 10 damage on my turn, Nathan's doing minus one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even then it should have done one, right? Done one? Uh, no, he had armor. He had one point of armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did a bunch of damage on yours. That's what I'm here for. Who should I kill, the snake or the skeleton? Mm, doesn't matter to me. I feel like the snake's more dangerous. Wait, no, the snake's. The skeleton has been failing miserably. But he is I don't in know, the lead, the... so once he starts hitting, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, the skeleton is an elite. <laughs> Down, motherfucker. All right, well, oh, uh, hey Bradley, are you yeah. able to use your refreshing tonic on me after this? Uh, do you want me to use it this round or next round? This round, if you can keep up with me, I'm gonna have to move into the room. But I can't. The thing is, I can't use it on you and move. Oh, that's true, and I can't range attack, so I guess I'll have to be next time. So I'm gonna have to run into the room this turn. Want me to set up my retaliate? Um, not this turn. I'm gonna be able to kill one of these, and you could probably kill one too. We could do it next time. Like next uh, round. Don't, yeah, don't forget that we need to break open a wall as well to get my aggressive yeah. thing. Going. Uh, as long as you don't kill anything, we'll be fine. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna run in and kill the snake with three health, or the skeleton. Maybe the skeleton. Yeah, I'll go first, uh, kill the skeleton, and then that'll mean that you can run past me into the room. Okay, I'm gonna okay. go. Uh, I'm gonna go for a slow priority then, and then have a heal ready just in case someone gets hit. Oh yeah, actually, Nate, do you have your push? No, I, I, would, oh, I was gonna. It's I a stun trap anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I was trying to push last time, and then yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll kill the skeleton, and then you could just follow me Shit in and kill one of the snakes. Work out, you know. <laughs> Oh, you think you can outspeed me? Unlikely, you little slut. No. Move six. Yeah, I'm just gonna move one because I can't move through. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't kill the skeleton because uh, I don't get the buff on him. Like, I need to get a plus one to be able to kill him. Yeah. I mean, so um, we'll good, guys. We'll see what happens. Go for I mean, I can guarantee a kill on the snake, though, that's the thing. Because he's got one health, unless I get nullified. Can you kill the skeleton with the amount of damage you would do, Nate? Uh, no, I think I need. He's got one armor. Yeah, it, it's the armor that's a problem. Honestly. Um. Alright, so if we both got the same odds of killing him, um, I might as well just try it. Actually, I might. Ah, ah nullified. I I can't get in. Like, you're blocking. The yeah. Armor. I was hoping you'd just go for the snake. It's fine. I'll, 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 oh god, no, I'll kill all of them. Nathan, if you break the wall... Yeah, you could just attack the wall. This one on the side here. Um, I think jump lets you move through enemies, maybe. Yeah, you could trample. It burns, but you could do it. Yeah, I think I have to now, right? And it does. It won't actually hit me. It says damages all enemies move through. Okay. If I trample though, how can I? I don't think I got a way of moving through. You can Just walk, walk through the two snakes and then. Smash yeah, get the snakes and get to the room. No, I, I won't be able to move through both snakes. You should be able to. No, 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 no. Because no. you're one, two thing, and he wouldn't be able to oh, move through the other snake. Wait, 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 couldn't you go, uh, snake, skeleton, thing, and then turn back and smack the skeleton? Yeah, you could just go snake, skeleton, and then go into the middle between them, right? Because you don't have to move in a straight line, you can move in a pattern. If I click on the skeleton first, what we're we doing then? 
Uh, maybe you should be able and to. And then you should have two more movement. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I had to yeah. do it. So you, like can, that, you can pass it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because when I was doing it the other way, it was working. All right. Confirm. <laughs> Oh, this that. man and his shield is the worst. And then... And then whack someone. You could kill oh, the snake, yeah. and then we've got one less target to worry about, maybe. Alright. Oh, maybe you couldn't. No, I... Well, we need to break I, a... I, we need to I break a wall. I'm getting all of my minus ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking bad. We need to break a ward. <laughs> no. Ouch. What do you mean, ouch? He took one damage and he's got 10 health. Yeah, right. well, if I had a fucking paper cut, I'd still say ouch. Okay. He's got you there. <laughs> no, a paper cut's actually really fucking <laughs> off. I mean, it, 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 I feel like little <laughs> nicks and cuts tend to be more annoying than bigger ones. That is very true. I I, I thought the I thought Nathan I mean, made some effect to choke him out. Then I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I grabbed him by his fucking neck and I died. <laughs> he just gets bit, lifts the fucking thing up, and throws it into the wall. We need to destroy the wall. Ow, Birch! <laughs> I mean, I, I could ink. I could ink bomb the skeleton. Mm, it was pretty valuable, I'd save it, because the snake's already got Yeah, one. so I, I, what is it? I could run in there, get on the gold, and heal Nathan. But I haven't taken any damage. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that, that's all I've got. Well, I suppose I could, could do, do a, a two You swing. could run in and do your basic attack, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully you can just do a little bit of damage to the guy. For some reason, I can walk where Nathan is. <laughs> that's weird. I don't know if, if I can try. If you get a times two on that basic attack, you could kill him. <laughs> Alright. So. There's only one times two in the entire deck now. Believe in the heart of the cards. You've already used your plus two. I don't know. No, I, can get, I can get a plus oh. two or a... <laughs> oh, oh, we are getting wet. screwed. My nullify has come up three times so far in two encounters. Like, I'm getting. Dumb right. over. Dude, I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, but that's not as bad as the nullify. Yes. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I probably should have healed Knife just to get rid of the poison. Yeah. Oh, he's poisoned. I can, I can eat that damage. I'm gonna add probably long rest. Yeah, just keep hitting me. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Why do you get three attacks? When I attack him, my attack gets nullified. He gets to fucking attack me three times. I really wish we right, had uh, to I'm gonna three cards uh, the bigger time. thing on you, yeah? Do not use reinvigorating elixir because I'm out of cards. I have to rest this turn. So I can't actually do anything before it. I'm gonna just long rest. Like, I, if I short. Oh, wait, you're out of cards. You, you, what? You mean I can't? What? If I use it, you, you if you to use it. But if I'm you... fully out of cards, I have to rest. So like, I can't. Like, if you use it on me, it'll get wasted. Oh, oh. So you, you having the long rest? Then okay. I, I can't physically take an action. Like, if I rest, I'll already have all my cards back. Right. That's the thing. Yeah. You want you, you want to do it to me on the turn that I run out of cards. It's fine, I might, um, I, I think I know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna long rest, cause then I can pick which card to lose and I get health back. Since we don't want to kill all the enemies in the room anyway, we want to make sure one stays alive before we break the wall. Uh, we should go to the room on the right first, cause it's smaller. I'm gonna assume there's gonna be less danger in there. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I'm probably casting Retaliate on myself. You know what though? It's kind of a fifth I'm gonna tank, break into the little get... room, every tile is gonna have that. Just every and tile. Every time I get myself all buffed up and go for a big play, my nullify card gets flipped. Every time. Uh, yeah, it has actually. It's like, I remember when we started, it's just like... Oh, you're gonna love this, so I'm pretty sure the aggressor has already failed because of turn one. Mm, possibly. No, it's got a red X next to it, so I'm assuming it failed. Oh. I... 
I've got a cross by use no items during this scenario. I've got one on indigent as well. But I didn't I use any I items. I haven't looted anything. I, I didn't use any items. Maybe it just means that it hasn't been cleared yet. Maybe, hopefully. Because yeah, I definitely haven't looted anything. You haven't used any items. I don't have any items. <laughs> yeah, no usable <laughs> items. Alright, so we're just gonna carry on like it hasn't failed, got it. Well, I swear, right, if we, we get to the end of this and none that. of us get our things, we're gonna be pissed. Yep. Alright, am I killing the snake or not? Yeah, 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 you can- we can kill one more thing, we just- we yeah. just need to break a wall. <coughs> Y'all can do it, I believe it. I mean, we're just waiting for Kieran to finalize his card picks as well. Oh, I'm going long rest. Oh. But I thought I'd already locked it in. My bad. Okay. Yeah. Retaliate only lasts for this round, maybe. It's not like a long term buff like the other one. Well, with the skeleton. I, I doubt he's gonna attack you, he'll probably go for one of us and stuff. Well, you could kill the skeleton and the snake attacks But if the snake attacks him, and he retaliates, it dies, and we need there to be an enemy active every turn for one of the battle quests. I thought you guys failed that one. No, we don't know if we failed that one. We're confused. <laughs> uh, it's oh, also okay. saying that me and Nathan have failed ours, and we definitely have <laughs> uh, okay. So that, I don't think. I thought you guys were talking about your... Just going on like you haven't failed the both of the three quests on the side. I actually think I might have failed mine. It says I've got two gold on the side, I think. I would like to say that this you little room looks like there's a lot of danger. danger. It wasn't you. Huh? <laughs> I took the gold, not you. Was there gold oh, in the different oh, standing? You might, have, you might have been standing on top of yeah, because uh, that's what uh, you said. Right? Shit. Okay, so I guess we have all failed our battle goals then. I don't know how Nathan. Oh, use items. <laughs> I guess your armor just counts as an item that you use. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's the biggest bullshit thing I've ever heard. That just means you fail that shit from the get go most of the time. You said you're not equipped the item yet. <laughs> You're not allowed a weapon or anything. He's like, sort. fuck it, we can't equip one. Well, that guy in there? We've already failed. With the blades for arms? He scares me. <coughs> he looks like a bitch, you can do this. Also, this guy scares me. Okay, that guy looks scary. <laughs> the other one looks like a bitch. No, he that guy. He's cool. That guy right there looks like he's a fucking tyranny. So. I feel like Retaliate would just last. That looks like a fucking tyranny. Nah, that thing needs to die before it starts eating. Yes. Oh, and Nathan needs to go short rest as well. Fuck. <coughs> we have failed the city. That is a room full of enemies. Yes, it is. I thought you guys said this room was going to be safer. I was thinking it might. I only seen two skeletons and a snake in this first room. I mean, you gotta bear in mind anymore. that it, it, it looks like there's only two snakes and two... What is it, the wizard and the thing? The other health bars are the walls? Yes, but... That's a level 7. I think that's level... No, that's level how eight. No, it's, it's, it's the hit points. Hit points? Okay, then why does the 8 one have a golden star? I know nothing about this game, like, by I've thought about like mine. Hmm... I see. The Tyranid is scary. Did Kill the skeleton him. not have a gonad? That last turn? Or did he just decide um, not to attack anyone? Uh, I mobilized him, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's done the whole turn. 
Um, I don't know. Do I want to lose my enhancement fields? Uh, it's very wanna... good. Uh, I know, very, very but I, do, like that, my options are: do I roll for something else? Uh, good question. My plan is to try to kill the skeleton, and then also throw knives at two other enemies. I, have, uh, I don't have. Because it turns out I have a card with the bottom attack. I, I can you I, use I, enhancement I, field? Actually, that would definitely make me more likely to kill this skeleton. Oh god. I mean, I don't know. I I, I don't. Because I'm, I'm attacking for three, but um, he has a point of armor. Right. I'm gonna go for a redraw then. Okay. I, I lost my uh, harmless. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I can't actually see the tile to get into the room. Actually, I can't get into that room, can I? You can't run past the Tyranid, no. You'd have to push him out of the way first. Or use jump, if you've got anything with jump on it. I do not have to. you got leap and cleave, Nathan, because you jump. True. I did want to use that for the attack. You, it's a shame that you don't have eye for an eye because you could have used leaving cleave to jump in there and put eye for an eye on. And uh, you I'm would... gonna use uh, what is it? I'm gonna use enhancement field and ink bomb. I could short rest this. <laughs> you could, but it's not really worth it when you've got this many cards. Yeah. All right. Uh... Uh, if you want to go into the room, you could do. There's a trap in there. You could charge in and push the, t the other tyrant looking guy into the trap. It would stun him. That that was my original plan, but I can't get it past, I can't get past the Tyranid. That's the problem. You can use jump. You can use no, leaping cleave. If, if I use leaping cleave. Oh, but your push is all yeah, on the bottom, right? The bottom. No, warding strength has a push on top. Uh, warding, <coughs> I don't think warding strength is like a card I can actually use. Oh, because you've got the passive it, it, on. The yeah, buff. you can't use it. Yeah, yeah it's locked in. Okay, maybe not then. Yeah. Um, I, would have, hmm. I would have to jump in and just go for a sweeping blow. Either oh, yeah. that, or you could... And then I think, uh, yeah. Just uh, attack I... the guy in the doorway. Like, I'm going to try and kill the skeleton, so you could walk up to the guy in the doorway and kill him. Or hit him, even. Are you talking about the skeleton here? I'm going to try and kill that. So if I succeed then you would have I that mean, tile open. Do you want me to, uh, <laughs> should, I, what, should I focus on the skeleton? Like, I could walk um, up and yeah, yonk how, him. How fast are you going to go, Bradley? Uh, I can go 16, the fastest I can go. Okay, I can go after you for the enhancement field, and then I can almost guarantee that I can kill that skeleton. Yeah, but I can just take one step forward and then literally pull him onto the trap, which is free that way. No, it's a stun oh, trap. Oh, the trap. It's a stun trap. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give, me, give, me, give me the enhancement field and I'll try and kill him. Okay, right. I can, uh, I can do two attacks this time. I can't, I can't move, though. That's the problem. Oh, enhancement field is adjacent only, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to have to gamble on it and try and kill him then. Hopefully I, I get mean, a plus one. I could, st I could take a shot at him if you want. Yeah, take a shot. I would need a plus one to kill him. If, um, I'll go before you, and then well, basically if he doesn't die, you can shoot him, and if he does, then you don't need to. So I just I mean, keep that option. The other thing I was, I was thinking of doing, if all the enemies, like, sort of crowd up, um, was I was thinking of using Ink Bomb, basically, so I can blow you up. You can use them. Ink Bomb, yeah, it's just, the, you'll have the option to hit the skeleton for Nathan if you need to, because I'm going to go before you, and we'll just see if I kill him. So how fast are you guys moving? Ten. Like... I should be the slowest because 54 is my lowest. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my best to try and kill the skeleton. Like I I need a plus one to kill it basically. That's if I can get that, he dies. Okay, or if I'm, I'm, really I guess I'll do the best, uh, I'm just gonna use my like the ranged attack. So oh, I suppose I don't really need to. I suppose I can walk. I, I do do bear in mind I've got shit tons of negative ones in my Prepare, preparing bomb as an option. Like have the card, and then depending on how the turn goes, you could use it. Because the snakes, wish... you could kill like all of them. I wish much. the trap there wasn't there. 
Yeah, the trap is very inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I'm locked in. Well, we never know. Someone might walk in. Okay, I, I'm gonna go with... What is it? I'm gonna go late in the turn order then. I'm just gonna try to be last, so okay. hopefully these things pile up on top of each other and then I can just nuke them. There must be a way to locate Duke them. Nuke them? <laughs> oh god damn, that guy's faster than me. Wait, what happened to my chest plate? What? The bitch the, got the shield, yeah, he, bro. He just armored the fuck up. I'm not <laughs> planning to attack him anyway, were you? No, but like, that scares me. Nice. Oh, he also has retaliate range 3. I know not of what that means. Oh, I got my plus two and he got a minus one on his defensive card, so it just kind of weakened me a bit. Oh well. I had some good damage that time. Uh, Ooh! Yeah, what is skeleton made it so it's still one. <laughs> he attacked you twice. I can take that! <laughs> to his butt a flesh wound. Just a flesh <laughs> wound! Well, maybe nah, Bradley's got heal cards and I've got a self heal too. Wait, fine. Do I have myself here? Yeah, I've still got it. Can I attack the trap? <laughs> uh, you have to disarm traps. You can't smash them. You have to have a disarm card. I have one, but I think it's burned. <laughs> nice, nice, solid. Hopefully those snakes come down so that Bradley can on them. Is there anything in this room that I could just run towards? Mm, nothing really. Right. Really wish the snake all... moved before me. Can't believe we all bombed our battle goals. It's kind of okay though, because my character retires at 15 perk points, which is really, really quick if you're passing all your battle goals. Well, for me, the game is saying I don't have a chest plate. And That's I I weird. One. I know Bradley's got three items. Like, equipped. I bought the helmet and the chest plate. Those were Um. I don't really see the point in nuking. I mean, I could kill the snake and the fucking demon at the same time, or I could just pop the snake. Mm, yeah, we can finish the demon next turn, because he's already acted, so you're not really removing him from the turn order anyway. So yeah, I would just pop the snake. Pop snake, could you? Save the big action. And then I could run in there to block the way and grab the gold. can you actually run in there? I'd be running on the trap, though, that's Yeah, problem. that's just... Don't do that. You could get stunned. You won't be able to act next time. Yeah. They're gonna come towards us. Anyway. <coughs> that, that's the thing. Yeah, like, if the, if the enemies want to get into the room, like, there's actually an empty tile next to me and Nathan they could move into. Um, okay, I can kill this demon. Like, you guys don't need to worry about him, because I have flanking strike. And it does a shit ton of damage as long as Nathan does not move. Uh, I shouldn't be moving before you anyway. And then I'm maybe gonna just play a loot card since I don't want to move. Wait, this guy just Ooh, hit him, didn't he? I swear he got 
I think he might have healed for one. He's got four health now, but I can still one shot him. Right. Might have to hit him with that strong one shot. Gotcha. Nah, I'd win. Uh, you know, every time I try this, I get my knock off my card, but it's actually it's already been flipped and I haven't rested. Because <laughs> it flipped the first time I tried this in this round. Yeah, I don't have enough movement to get out of that. Wait, no, I, shit, I have rested. Okay, I might get nullified. Some of the oh, the one in the back is faster than us, and he's just going to shield and retaliate. He's not attacking us at all. Like honestly, we could probably ignore him for a bit, kill this one near us and the snake, and then just move on and open up the other room. Okay, funny idea. Bradley places a proximity mine in this guy's way, and then we just leave him. <laughs> I do have it, but like, I have got it penned up right now. You'd have to put it in the doorway, though. Like, you'd have to move first, and the trap is in your way of doing that. Is the doorway is the only way you can guarantee oh, yeah. you can get into it. Well, I'm, I'm going to kill this enemy, actually. You could get into a tile where you'd be able to place it there. Yeah. My tile's too late. <laughs> Since I already failed my thing, I'm gonna loot. Get some gold. Oh, uh, if you place the trap in the doorway now, the snake might walk into it. We want to save it until... But then you've already got it lined up, don't you? Yeah. Nathan, are you able to kill the snake this turn? <laughs> I mean, it's fine, I'm just gonna do what I originally was planning to do, which was heal you anyway. Oh, well, I appreciate that. <coughs> um, um... That minus three cards at the start of this has really fucked me. Yeah, it was dicey. I feel like we're still clear, but... <laughs> well, I've, I've only burnt two cards so far, I think, maybe three. Well, I haven't burned a lot. Yeah, I burnt two. Like, I'm doing pretty solid on my economy right now. I mean, it's fun. I'm just gonna... Bradley's burnt zero cards and fucking... I don't see any red ones on there. No. Nathan's burnt three. I'm gonna have to yeah, see, that's why it was a good thing we didn't place that trap. He didn't even attack me. He didn't fuck him up. Fuck him up. Uh. Fuck him up. Yeah, if we kill him, we could just dip and leave this guy and, like, fucking... Uh, are you close to needing to rest, Bradley? Like, would it... No, I was gonna say we could get the trap back, but you've still got all your cards. <laughs> oh, but I, on the other hand, am about to spend my last two cards before a rest, and you have Invigorating Elixir. Alright, I'll invigorate you. Oh, whoa. Well, come on, Bay, you need to be next to me. Yes. So, I don't know if you want to take a, like, try to do a slow turn so I can invigorate you first. Wait, or... yeah, yeah, I'll just go slow and then I'll okay. move after. Oh, wait one second, but wouldn't it be better if you... I'll get two less cards back, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see what actions I can take. I can... I can heal myself. Yeah, I can just go quick, heal myself, and then not move. Yeah. Give me a plus one. Uh... Ooh. It's fine, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I've got something to shoot at it. Um, yeah, I can actually just move over next to you, so I'm still moving a little bit. What do you think's more valuable, uh, a, a stun or a poison? Poison, depending on the enemy's health, poison is a guaranteed plus one, so if they've got a bit of tank, you notice it's more worth more. But a stun just removes them for a turn, which is pretty good as well. All right. okay, I would say so poison's not that valuable, anything below 7 health. What, what's your speed, Kieran? 6. 6, okay, I'm gonna... I'm yeah, I'm gonna, gonna move out. to the tile right next to you, like go. between you and the trap. Hmm. And then heal myself. That's fine, I'm just gonna take a crack at Nathan's... Um, snake with a... With a shot, if he wants, and then uh, if, if, he wants to move, if he wants to move off to like break open another wall, then. Uh, oh, Nathan, smash! I don't think I can. 
You can just run as far as you can and get close though, just start well, progressing I'm out of towards cards it. At the moment, so I either have to long rest or short rest. You can just long rest. And then you get to pick what card you want and you get two health back. Alright. Alright then. So I'm gonna be taking a crack at this snake. Hopefully I move before it. Yes. Oh, the Harrower Infester is actually gonna attack for a change. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what we can do then? If you guys want to start moving after this turn, I will stay back here and just kill it. Because I do damage. And I'm about to be at full health. And Bradley's going to give me all my cards back. Oh, he's not even going to come in for it. I guess we can just ignore him again. <laughs> My cards! Damn. Yeah, that, that fucking Tinker card that lets you refresh all of the teammates' cards is one of the best in the game. It's so good. I mean, do you guys want to take a pop at killing this thing next turn? Because I can move six, so I could just run literally straight to the wall and try and smash it. Yeah, the scound from is kind of busted in the early game. How much movement? It's just two to get to him. And yeah, I can I can definitely reach the wall. All right, poison's gone finally. <laughs> okay, now it's saying my chest plate's back. Weird. Oh, you long rested. It must have been used. No. So I guess maybe it does count as a usable item, and that's why you failed. That's weird. That sucks. Nobody gets any perk points. Yep. Okay, how far do I need to move? One, two, three, four, minimum. So I can't use a move three. I have to use a move five or six. Mm. I could just overwhelm and assault this man. My best. Just remember, he's probably going to be a little bastard and probably put his shield thing back up. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toxic bolt him. All right. Um, I don't, can't guarantee that I can break the wall in one turn, so you might need to just be a little bit gentle with him. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> what is it? I, I mine's got a red X on it. Does, does, do we think that it's thing or that it's been fucked because of turn uh, one? I feel like it has. Been. I think it's hard, yeah. Yeah, so, I'm gonna try and break the wall, but I need a plus one to do it, basically. So, to be so, honest, we could just flat out kill him if we think. We oh, yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, just kill him. Never mind. Forgot about it. Yeah, I think it is fucked. The whole thing is just scuffed. Okay, how strong is your attack, Bradley? I'm just gonna shoot him for two, but he's gonna be poisoned. Um, I'm gonna have an initiative of 18. And uh, once he's poisoned, if you go after him, you'll get plus one guaranteed on your attack, mate. So if he they have, have five health, so a four would be enough to kill him. I do not have... I don't think any of my cards... Only Shield Bash that I used at the start to break that the wall. Would be <laughs> uh, I am going to have to walk uh, past Nathan Nose to uh, be able to take the shot. Oh, yeah. Better you... know. Uh, Better <laughs> Well, I mean, you spare dagger because you can do it from range also, and it gives you. Oh, What is it? The gold, man. The gold. Oh, you think I should spare dagger from range then? I mean, that way I get to keep my overwhelming or so. But... Yeah, and all it would take is a plus one to get the kill, right? That's the thing. And Bradley might get a plus one anyway, so you might not even need a. I mean, most likely I'm going to get a minus one, because as far as I know, I think there's like seven copies of that card in there now, or eight. Eight copies, I think. You got okay. five in there originally, and I got three more. Actually, you said that the minus ones refresh after every short and long rest, didn't you? Yes, or if the deck gets emptied. Actually, I think it might only be when the deck gets emptied. I think modifiers refresh when you run out of them. Can't remember for certain. Oh, well. 
You should be able to check it if you click the crossed swords, right? It should pop up your left first. Where are crossed swords? Left side. But I, yeah, it tells you how many are left oh, okay. of each in your so, right now. Yeah, I've gone through three of them. There's only two there. Uh, there's three zeros. There's still a minus two in there. There's only you one know what? plus one left. And a plus two. You've got another fire as well. And a motor. Oh yeah, because I just um, I just long rested last turn and mine's full, so they do refresh on long rest. But I long rested last turn. That's how I cured my poison. Ah, oh, well then mine must have just coincidentally run out at yeah. the same time as when I rested. Okay. <laughs> so the highest chance is I get no plus. And the lowest Well, chance... your best, your best, you've got positive odds overall, right? Yeah. Like you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, a zero or higher, compared to four that are negative. I mean, don't forget, you're uh, also, it's also going to be poisoned yeah. as well. Well, poison doesn't affect your modifiers, it's a flat plus one, so as long as he doesn't get another fight, he'll do a minimum of one damage. Because okay, uh, uh... minus two is not enough to take him to minus one, so his attack should be three. Yeah, even if he gets minus two, he should do two damage minimum if it's poisoned. Alright. What will you destroy? One of these two. But yeah, um, I'm maybe... guessing my armor screwed me over. There's a locked door here as well from the looks of it, so we have to open the door, which means it's not actually going to activate as soon as we um, break the wall. I thought an item would be like a healing potion or something, but... I, I guess the armor proc, like you must have gotten hit with it two times, and that's failed it for you. Yeah. And yeah, I, just, I couldn't see the pile of gold on the rubble that I stood on because of the nice. fucking camera angles and stuff. Nice, no negative one. Poisoned. <laughs> You got good odds of getting a plus one, Nathan. You, you got, got a that I did not see there. Yeah, see, that's what happened to me. That's why yeah. I failed my challenge. I had no idea that was gold on it. You can't see it under the rubble. You got good odds, Nathan. Oh, oh well. Oh, you can push him, yeah, he yeah. can get stunned, so nothing will happen to you. This man is gonna get fucked. It's a shame it's not a damage trap or whatever. Yeah. That's why I went with that movement, honestly. Huh? Good move. And then one of you start heading over this way, and one of you finish off the guy, basically. I mean. The odds of me getting a minus one's pretty high. <laughs> yeah, right, you start coming. I need to finish them. I'll try and kill him. <sighs> Please don't be like Baldur's Gate. Please don't be like. <laughs> 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 Man, how far can I move? Right, that, I mean, uh... I can move eight movement in one turn if I use my boots and my best movement card. Yeah, you come down here, get set up. And make sure that you've got proximity mine as an available card. Oh no! If I could, I could grapple hook him. I might kill him. Okay. Is that what you want to do, or do you want to go uh, down to wake? I don't know. Maybe, because maybe I should. Just enemies are going to be wake here or not. Um, and I've only I want to be where cards. the people are. I've only got three cards left, so it's better if I'm just like. At the back, honestly. Uh, I'll tell you what. I mean, I'm not going to be doing an attack on my really having an attack on my turn. So I'm gonna what is it? I'm gonna walk basically. But before I walk off, I'll shoot at him. Oh, right. a lot of Nathan's cards exhaust. Yeah, he's got he's got four burned already. Yeah. Oof. It's I feel good. like Nathan should actually be the one that makes a run for it this way, so that we can try and get as much yeah, use out of him before he runs out of cards, I, I, yeah. I'm going for uh, my highest priority at the moment, which is 16. Yeah. So I'll take a shot at him, and then if he doesn't die, Nathan can stay there and finish him off, and then 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah. If we can get Nathan over this way, we can try and get some use I'll out also, of him before he runs out. Okay, I'll also pull it towards Nathan as well, so he can. Oh nice! So he can finish it and then make a break for it anyway if he has to. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, like I said, this game's action economy is very tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was because I used shield bash at the start to break down the wall. Yeah. I don't actually Wine. know what happened to Trample. I know what happened to Rev and Go. And you used Trample early. You uh, ran into the room through the snake. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, fucking... The brute, brute specifically has a really tight action economy as well because he's got so many cards that burn. Yeah. Whereas I mean, he's like he does a lot of really good stuff, yeah. but burns cards. There's another class like that later. Actually, it's another one of those like orc type race characters, but they're more of like an attacker rather than like a bruiser. They just do fucking damage, and they burn through cards like crazy. How fast? Are I don't want to spoil too much about the unlockable classes. The um sixteen. Okay. Oh my god, he's legal! I mean, uh... <laughs> Baby. Not in Canada, he's not. <laughs> not in great. Canada. It, it's fine, Nathan, don't worry. I mean, uh, I'm gonna pull him to... See, Josh, that's the thing. If you move to the UK, all the third-year students in anime and Persona are technically legal. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> nah. Listen, we already got grown-up <laughs> versions of Persona 3 characters, though. You just have to play Persona 4 Arena. Boom, they're all adults. Persona Arena is so good. Oh, there was no door to open on that one. These, these are two separate rooms. Damn. Oh no! That room is oh, terrifying. No. Is the chest in that one? No, it's in the last one. That room is... That's a scary ass room. room. There's a night demon. Three skeletons and a harrower investor. How many mines can you place down? <laughs> it it's one and it burns. <laughs> uh, there's, there's two skeletons, two tyranids, and the guy with the sword arms. Hey, My sword hand! Hey, looking good. And yeah, like yeah. they immediately placed into the turn order as well. They don't miss this turn. Like as soon as they're active, they get. But I know Someone like save him! Kieran's dead! No, I'm not. What? They're all gonna come through that door now. I mean, I, right I, at I, him. I, wow. I gotta be honest. I, I'm not. I'm and not too thrilled with the idea of. Uh... Bradley really gets uh, <laughs> experience like, if he uses. A we card. we need to try to bottleneck this. If Nathan can get the movement to make it here, like we can oh. stop them all from coming. Oops. I mean, in all fairness, we could just my, run into Nathan. My max here. movement is free. Okay. What? Well, I guess we're not going to be bottlenecking them. Yeah. Oh, no, no, we can. Coming. We just just go into Nathan's room. The the brute doesn't go to this. We can place. bottleneck them where they're stuck. I can find my way. I can go the distance. We could bottleneck them right where I am. Actually, yeah, we could just have the two of us here. Like I can tank a little. Can I push Bradley? Just saying, where Karen's at right now, you don't need the doorway necessarily, Lizzie. Yeah, we well, just have a two tile on that. Right yeah. Like, I would have to be part of the bottleneck, but, like, it's still. Nathan's better than all of them through. He's kind of work his way. He could break down that wall and walk his way closer, I guess. If he can nah, attack like, it. Let's see. <coughs> One, two, three. Like, I can move around the wall. Through the trap. Yes, the into jump. the trap. No, no, no. If I use my jump one, I should be able to just go over it. Hmm. We can't go over it. We have to go through it. <laughs> or I, I could attempt nice. to. If push you're playing a barbarian kind of class and thinking, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> As I can see, Brad's class is called the Thinker, so. It's the Tinkerer, like Tinkerbell. I can't read. What's your point? Um, Am I the I mean, only person in this whole friend group that isn't dyslexic? Wow. I mean, no, what says does he's not, not being dyslexic you talking. is... <laughs> I'm ableist. Very <laughs> Learn to read, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Brady mentions this all the time, that he's not dyslexic at all. 
And wow. I know that dyslexic people can read. They can if they tr if they work hard enough and stuff. I didn't. I did not try hard enough. I mean, you know, I, I'm just gonna long rest. Look at me. <laughs> I'm able bodied. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if we didn't get the Discord free at the start of this, I think I'd be doing really well. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be really ballsy right now and just go in and try and kill that skeleton. Watch me be a complete fuck up. It has armor. I'm gonna poison it. You and I get against enemies that aren't next to any of their allies from uh, single out here. Exactly. Oh no, that's for adjacent my allies. No, yeah, the bottom one. If they're not adjacent to any of their allies, I get plus two attack. Who thinks he can do it? So I, this is worth five plus with my buff, two, and if I poison him, it becomes worth six. So a plus zero is still enough to kill him. To be fair, Thinker and Tinker are really close, alright? And this guy has a giant fucking brain head. So I have ten chances on my modifier deck to kill this guy if I attack him, and five chances for it to go poorly. Basically. I want to get up there right. and have retaliate, but because the doorway only allows one of them to... Yeah. Yeah, my my odds of killing this I guy are two to one. I wouldn't but worry about it. Just, just walk up there. I'm going to try and kill the one that's bottlenecking us. Maybe, like, I might be able to one-tap him. Yeah. Like you could also open up the other doorway to the room. Like, there's another one. I don't know how to ping on mouse and keyboard, but, like, do you see next to the trap, there's another wall that could be broken down to split them. Like... Yeah, the left hand side. Um, I don't. Just don't open the other room. <laughs> like, That's I, the last. I'm nearly out of action. Honestly. Yeah, you're gonna get exhausted. Like the fact that we had to lose three actions and your class burns cards like fucking candy. Um, let's see. One. <laughs> it's just the fact that I can't move that far. Like. What I could do is attempt to break the wall that's by you. Oh, there's a second wall there. Would it would it do anything? It would just give them an extra angle to come out from, though. Yes, it would give them an extra angle, but it allows... Me... You would be able to stand in it and then fight, yeah. You could do it. It allows me to try and set up eye for an eye next turn. Yeah, okay, go for that, I think. Because, yeah, I might be able to kill that skeleton anyway and just remove one obstacle. Like, basically, the only way I don't kill him is if I get a negative modifier. Okay. I guess... That's why the, the level of thought that just go into one fucking turn in this game. <laughs> I know, this game is very fucking strategic. Because, it, it, like I said, it's the action economy. Oh, yeah. You've got to really be, like, planning out what you're going to do with each card and make it worth its while. Okay, I, okay. I just want to keep it. So... Bang on about the action economy in Baldur's Gate, and I'm just like, you have no idea. Like in Baldur's Gate, I can just long rest after every combat because the supplies are basically unlimited. <laughs> See, I don't worry about action economy in Baldur's Gate as long as I don't die during the combat. I'm all good. I'm still mad that I picked something that says don't use items and the armor counts as well. Only if you get hit <laughs> with the two times, <laughs> which, you, which you did, <laughs> apparently. I didn't even notice until afterwards, I was like, oh, your quest failed. I'm pissed that the rubble doesn't let you see gold underneath yeah. it. Like, and we, we verified it too, because like we saw Bradley do it too, we were like, oh, was he standing on gold? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pissed off. I started the mission and it fucking failed my mission. Yeah, that was the worst one. But at least you guys had a chance. <laughs> like, I, oh. I had the biggest chance, but you know, people rode really well against me. <laughs> I mean, after after how fucking Baldur's Gate was going, yeah. are you really surprised? I know, right? Fucking 30 rolls? 30 fucking rolls? I just love it how the stealth in here, you can still see exactly where they are. Oh. 
I'm learning so much about painting recently. Oh, it's my turn. I was yeah. very distracted. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was very distracted. I'm a, I'm gonna be in so much danger right now. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Also, I've only burnt two cards, so I can afford to save my life if I have to. Yeah. Oh, no! I can't actually attack him properly, because I, I can only attack the two. So I need... fucking... Yeah, I forgot about the bottom top action nonsense, so I can't kill him. Yeah. Oof. Never know. Yeah. I mean, Man, good damage. he actually got his plus one. I, I'd like to get a positive dice. <laughs> you suck, loser! You suck! Okay, I'm not in that much danger. Yeah, yeah, but to be fair, like... I'm in danger! <laughs> I'm not in that much danger. Not that bad. <laughs> I'd be more worried about when the invisible guys catch up to you. In invisible guy? Oh, I see him in the bag there, yeah. Oh yeah, them. they've got attack too. I just wish my movement was like plus six, like your guys. Alright. Uh, I don't know, I think when we do this again, I think Nathan probably should buy the boots. Yeah! Boots would probably be very helpful for right, Nathan. I think, like, I bought boots and a health potion, and they're, they're working out really well. You think Nathan should buy boobs? Ooh. I do have a plus one and a plus one. Boobs! So hopefully I can bash down the wall. Oh, oh, that would be a line of sight for Bradley to be able to shoot that guy. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to take him. He can't reach the wall. He can't. No, no Nathan's going to try and bash in that right? corner wall. Yeah, the this corner one. I wish I could see where he yeah. was. Oh, what? Oh, you mean this? Oh, oh, that one on the call? Oh, okay, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah. Um, where do I want to move? It'd be nice if you could push the wall on top of the, uh, the fucking living yes. bones. You bet your ass on it, <laughs> Wash him. Wash him. Actually, what? It said that you could look at the wall status. Alright, skip over. Can I push the wall? No, I don't think you no, can push it, the wall. It says immune to push. If you yeah, you just have to hit it. You just gotta hit it. Okay. Might as well do this to get one XP. Plus one! Come on! Come on. I need Bradley to have that line of sight! No! No! I'm safe for this. I'm safe I mean, for this. It's, it's anyway. fine. I mean, I, I'm doing a long rest anyway. Oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. And I'm safe for this turn. Actually, Bradley has now that, for days. Now that it's <laughs> not been broken down, you might as well just come and bottleneck for me, right? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I. Oh, this is where I'm I getting, actually right. want to be where you're standing, here. Um, I can move. I can go before no, you. No, no, no. Like, the thing is, I can't get there. It's for moving. Wow. <laughs> Oof. I could break the wall down for you. True. Like, I have to short rest anyway, which will get me my throwing knives back. So I should be able to... Like, I'm trying to set up retaliate. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna try and kill that skeleton and break the wall. Oh, I wanna use so my he's throwing knives. Actually, so I'm gonna go 10 speed. My speed is 10. Your speed is 10. Okay. Then I yeah. can do eye for an eye, and then spare them. So yeah, I'm gonna move, throw a knife at the wall, unless it gets nullified, it will break. Please, please, otherwise I'm fucked. 
this. <laughs> if that wall doesn't break, I'm fucked. Well, I can also kill the skeleton. I'm gonna try and do both of those things. Yes. Because throwing knives is too target. <coughs> but the nullify is still in my modifier deck. Uh, if Bradley can outspeed you, he might be able to set up the option to break the wall if I fail. Okay, so Same. you're gonna attack both, and are you gonna move straight afterwards? I'm gonna move first, and then throw, because otherwise I'm at disadvantage on the skeleton. Okay. That's fine, then. Mm. I just need to be in front of you and get in attacked. That's basically what I'm Yeah, because that's, that's the most value we're gonna be able to get out of you before you become exhausted at this yeah. point, is just getting you to fucking... Oh, I'm gonna get muddled by this investor. Oh, he got another fight. I am poisoned, though, which is not fun. No, you're muddled, right? Oh, yeah, yeah the poison the other guy. It was the angles there that was screwing yes. with my perception. All right, so, so you attack the wall and kill the Mr. Skelly, Skelly and Mr. Wall. Bust you on the wall. You got a minus one. But no, I actually got a, that was its defense roll. I oh, rolled plus two. And it okay. Got a minus one. <laughs> if I rolled a minus one, it wouldn't have broken. No, that's <laughs> where I want to move. <laughs> the other tile is still open. You could move elsewhere. You've still got enough space to bottleneck three of them. Okay. So I. I want to move just two tiles in front of me, right? Yes, yeah. Although, unfortunately, two of these guys have already acted this turn, so only the skeleton can actually hit you while you retaliate. That Because they were just so fast. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, they, like, their speed values were fucking high. I mean, you can always do the two physical. Oh. I mean, retaliate doesn't actually burn. Like, you can get it back with the rest. Oh, yeah, I know. I just saying, you know, you might as well just whack the guy because he's basically choosing between a skeleton and that demon. Hmm. I'm sure that retaliate doesn't last that long, honestly. I feel like you um, can get a retaliate skill I'm... on a different class that lasts longer. Um, like, I'm going to put a proximity two. bomb on the, uh, what is it, on the corner piece. Like, just behind Nathan. Mm, I don't think enemies can move to that. I think it's bottlenecked. I don't think they can move across there. No, I think they can move across there. But why not? Because, I mean, there's nothing physically blocking them. Just do it. Uh, oh yeah, they can move there. I think. Do... Oh yeah, I think they can. Uh, okay. I believe they can. Now, as part of this problem we're now going to have with action economy, I yeah. might have to break down the other wall this turn because I don't want to go into the room and get bummed by everyone. <laughs> we're gonna die! Actually, can you back um, down one, that two, wall? Three, four, them? five. Nathan's able to. So next time he burns a card, he'll Actually, have. Actually, if Bradley bashed down that wall and they all rushed me, that would be. <laughs> they wouldn't, though. Actually, I could bash down this wall, and we could try and get them to you before you exhaust, and we could just abuse Retaliate. Wait, but it only lasts until the end of this round, so what was the... So he can get it back. He's got enough cards to get away with resting two more times, I think? Maybe once? Yeah. I okay. think it's only once, obviously. So he's got two turns left right now, and then he'll be able to rest and act again right <laughs> Nice, got two damage off. Okay. What can I do this turn? Yeah, I can't move into the room. Um, should I just kill the night demon? I could move on to the corner tile. Oh, Bradley got a trap there, didn't he? <laughs> I almost made a big mistake. <laughs> I, I only have six health as well, that would have killed me. That wouldn't have been good. Alright. 
I mean, if you've got any ranged attacks, if I you... I do right now. I would have to rest to get it back. Okay, so I perform a short rest, and then I hope that I for an eye doesn't get chosen, bro. I mean, you could try to... Uh, you can re-roll and get chosen. You can um, basically tell it, like, I'll take one damage and discard something else. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go slow, and if one of the enemies moves onto the corner tile and frees up that space, they might come to me and I can kill them, and if not, I'll open the door. That is... I'm gonna go 33. We'll see if anyone comes in. Fine. And then I am gonna go P, because I really, really need to. Oof. Mm, I'm gonna go for a nuke tactic. <laughs> I'm gonna see if, if they pile up. And if they do, I'm gonna make them suffer. Well, hopefully one of them triggers that trap. Hopefully. I mean, do you even if they don't, if have you have No, I, I had to burn that. Same, mine's gone. Well, mine's on the same card as the invisibility, and the invisibility burns. It's fine, Nathan's got multiple different push cards anyway. Um, I'm kind of wanting the enemies to all pile up anyway. Like, if they get into, like, um, all three by three, I can smash them for five. Nice. So anyways, um, the original tabletop rules for this game say that you're not supposed to tell your teammates anything about what cards you're playing. <laughs> So it's supposed to just be pure chaos, but I like oh. pretty much everyone agrees that that makes the game way too fucking difficult. <laughs> but like it's already difficult when you're coordinating it. Yeah. How, how would it work if you both wanted to move into the same zone? Whoever goes first would get it, and the other person would be shit out of luck. <laughs> Basically. They would just have to change their whole plan. That's kind of how it is. Like, that's the point, is that, like, it just causes chaos that makes people adjust and do something else. The arm and the arm. Yeah. We're just going to retaliate, and this guy's hopefully going to hit me. Like, both of them. Hit me! Hit me! Who should I attack? Uh, probably the demons. Uh, I'm out of the room, so I can't say. Damn. I got, I got my one and only minus two. Oof. Did you do any damage or did it completely? It, it, it nullified it. Ooh. I mean, minus two is like... Worse, yeah. I mean, besides the one that actually nullifies it, because that takes off the damage you get from poison as well. <laughs> My turn, I guess I'm back in the room now, I can do something. Um, okay, so... I, have to I can't move into the room because of the trap. I still which have means my I'm breaking down the door. two motor player. I'll just break down the door. Oh, they're real close. I thought they were going to be up in that top room. It's two separate rooms. Um, ah! That seems to be happening to you a lot. Try like, and uh, make them like, attack me. Like, move Yeah, back. I'll move out of the way. Yeah, move, move as far back as you can, and hopefully they attack me. Uh, I'll move here, so we can try and fall. No, I'll just move yeah. one. Right. Wait, 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 keep, move, 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 move behind me. Move behind me. But we want them to stop at Nathan, right? I, mean, I guess two of them could reach him if I move out of the way. I'll yeah, stay yeah, here yeah. and fight them. I'll go here. Okay, that's fine. Right. And then I can still fight. Because I've got no ranged stuff left. Alright. Everyone attack me. Nullified! But you still get your retaliate off, that's good. I wasn't sure if it would um, count as you having been attacked if you nullified it, that's good. You get XP out the butthole. Hit me. Damn you, Skelly. Oh, there was another spot there. Um, yeah, 
do you have heal cards available still, Bradley? I do, actually. I can just receive the damage. I'll be fine. It's another I guess. Viper! It's a Viper! Are these all the last enemy? Where's the chest? No, there's another room. There's another room. How Look, you can it? see the tile. How the is rooms. there another room? <laughs> You can see the tiles on the floor if you look I into the fog. I've got nothing for this. Fuck the dog. You're gonna be exhausted by the time we make it to that room. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I probably... He's got his nuke, though. And those enemies lined up perfectly yeah. for it. Like, they're in the perfect shape. But you think you should do the bottom action first, Bradley? Yeah, I was gonna say. I saw you pick an ink bomb first, I was like, Brad? <laughs> it's fine. I know. I know. Oh my god, it's so annoying. It's it's like it's not quite was I'm not quite close enough. I need to move like uh, my view. You could cancel enhancement field and use it to move a tile so that you could hit all three. I think that's more worthwhile. Because like an extra enemy is four damage I, rather I than don't the last think thing, yeah, I, I think once I've cast it, I can't go. Oh through. you cast it already, shit. Ah, just hit the two. This ain't the board game, Kieran. You can't take back your actions. <laughs> I mean, I could. Well, I, I, didn't, I wasn't sure if he'd like fully committed to it yet. You're like, oh shit, that that's gonna get me killed. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, I could blast the uh, the main guy and the uh, skeleton in front of Nathan. Mm, do my room, and then I can start progressing to break down the next wall. Nathan's yeah. pretty solid. His health is good. He's got retaliations. Well, we're just using his retaliation. Right but you can short rest and get it back, right? Uh, I think like, you just don't. I think I might. Yeah, I think you've got enough. Like, if you've got three cards, that's all you need to be able to do that, right? Yeah. All right. So I, have I, I need to win the roulette right now on short rest. Oh uh, shit! I, sorry, I have to burn my healing item. Shit. That's no fun. Recover my burn cards, please. <laughs> They're not that charred. Alright, short rest. Yes. Uh, I can kill that skeleton in front of you, Nathan, and I can do it very quickly. How fast? What's your movement? Ten. Alright. Come on. Goddamn the heroes! Best. To be honest, I burned best. through a ton of cards. Oh, you really son of a bitch! What? I wanted him to do that last round, and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Should I gamble on killing the night demon as well? Or should I just attack my snake? Uh, Hang on. Uh, yeah, just... Maybe you just attack the snake. Wait. Honestly. Yeah. Can you do the snake and the night demons? Um, I'm going to attack the skeleton, because the skeleton's only got one health, I can finish him. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Because he's going to act uh, before Nathan, so even if Nathan's short rested and put eye for an eye back on, he yeah. won't get rid of the I'm going to heal both of you by one, and then I can take a pop shot. Double damage! Nice. That guy's only got two health, could you take out the snake? Uh, he's got no armor. Not, but I'll stun it. Ah, that's even, that's still good. You can take him out of turn order. Be oh, I do have a in front of you, by the way. There's probably no it's point good. healing me at this point. There's two gold on the rocks as well, but I'm going to go all the way because I've got two movements. Someone else can get the other loot. Yeah, but now, now I'm not going to heal you when I walk up. Yeah, you really need <laughs> Oh, oops. I didn't... Anyways, my bad. <laughs> Why is it so hard to be a medic? <laughs> I'm going to have to use That's that attack. Okay. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize that you had to be adjacent for your heal, because all of it, every round of the heal has fucking range on it. And stun my yeah. snake, so he's gonna... normally a medic, not a card. Uh, how many plus ones <laughs> do you have? Yeah, what's your deck looking like? You have good odds of getting a positive here, like... 
You've mostly zeros, but you've got decent odds. Got it. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like for your very last turn, you should do overwhelming assault on the Harrier. Like when you know it's going to be your final turn, you can rest one more time because you've got three cards. So you you can act this turn and then you can rest and then you have one more turn. Okay. So retaliate this turn and then. Yeah, and then overwhelming assault next turn. Just fucking kill him. I should move one space forwards now. Yeah, get the gold. Yeah. Hey, Couldn't hey. you have pushed the night demon into the trap there? In what? There's a trap on the rubble in the corner. He hit a six? Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. You dead. Yeah. Well, we might be fucked. <laughs> He, he straight up hit a six? Have you got any more nukes, Bradley, or are they all gone? Yo, you, you need to kill those guys if they're hitting sixes. Yeah, have you got any more nukes left, Brad? You got a flamethrower. Because I don't Alright, even... I'll leave those guys to you then. I'm gonna move up and start opening this door. I didn't even see a times multiply or a plus multiply on that shit. Because we need to try and get through this thing before we run out of cards. So I'm gonna just move up. Six um, fucking damage. That's insane. Yeah, that is kind of nuts. What's the uh, what's the angle on flamethrower? Ah, oh, you can't hit all three with how they're stacked up right now, but you could do two. I'm, get, I'm planning and... on killing the one with one and uh, going for yeah. the main block. Yeah. Oh yeah. I am sorry, my Um, friend. Toxic Bolt has an attack on bottom, you could... But then you couldn't move into range. I can move and use the flamethrower on more. Better. Oof. Breaking down walls mm. has been the worst thing in this map. I know, it's really made us use a lot of cards just to break down walls yeah. to get some things. Okay. And starting in an empty room, and losing three cards. Using an item, because it's part of your armor. Alright. Mm. I'm not using backstab because it's a burn, so I'm gonna use this. We need that chest. And I, I can't break down walls in one hit unless I get a plus one. Like yeah. most of my cards, attack three. Oh, oh sh! I'm gonna leave with 12 HP in here! No! Oh, what the Is the chest in there? The chest isn't even in there! <laughs> no, there's another room behind. There's a, is an extra room behind them. There's another room. <laughs> I feel like that's your catchphrase at this point. There's always another room. <laughs> what the fuck? This, this map is huge. Yeah, I feel like we might have not been supposed. Like the enemies are all level one, but I feel like we needed yeah. like modifiers and perks and shit to fucking come here. Yeah, the, like how many enemies have we killed? Because a lot. <laughs> Each room has had a shit ton. And then the fact that they got rid of three cards... Yeah. yeah. Oh, that wounds him as well, so he'll take damage at the start of his turns. Run. Run, Tinker. What the no? I feel no. like we were oh. underprepared no. for this. I... Yeah, I think so. I'd take that. Yeah. I don't think... Even though they were. Yeah, there was just too much stuff to get through. Like, I feel like if we level up, for example, we could get bigger cards without us break down walls in one hit more reliably and we get perks. Yep, this man hits so hard. How many cards? No, I burn? think I needed to burn a card then. Yeah, I would have I would have burned. Short rest me! I can accept that, I guess. Because that Night Stalker guy just hits extremely hard without any pluses. He do. He do be hitting extremely hard. And we haven't even seen what this elite in front of you can do yet, Kieran. It's okay. I'm coming. I'm coming back to Bradley because I don't think they can keep up with my movement. 
All right, good. Yeah, they've only got three movement. I'm going to move six. Uh, so I'm going to come back and help Bradley clean up. Hopefully that last room in the back is just the chest and no enemies, yeah. and we can clear if we just kill these guys. Not that we have enough health to do that, <laughs> probably. But we'll just we'll just give it our best shot. I've got 29 XP already. I'm getting so much XP. Uh, I have 27 in total. Oh damn, those retaliates really jacked you up. I did get, like, <laughs> a shit ton of objectives. I cannot get into a position where I can hit any of these guys. If you stay, what is it, don't get too close to these guys, I'm going to try to kill the guy in the purple robe and I'm going to immobilize the uh, demon. I'm just trying to get to yeah, he's somewhere. He's trying to get away can't... from these guys. Yeah. I can't actually do anything here, but I'm just trying to get away from the other guys. Like, I can't attack at all. Yeah, they would have had to be directly in front of me. It's fine, just keep running. Just keep running. This is as far as I want yeah. to go. I want to stay close enough that I can turn and fight again. When well, yeah, but where am I going to run to? It's true. True? Me? Oh, okay. I already finished my movement. I can't anymore. Right, you've got one more space. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I already committed. You should be able to run like... down anyway. It does not look like the situation has gotten much better. No, we think we uh, went for this battle I, way I too early. I got hit for like... six damage, just like straight up. And Nathan's class burns through cards like a madman. Also, at the start of this dungeon, they got rid of free cards. Yeah, it's been rough. <laughs> yeah, like it's rough, buddy. He's immobilized. He can't move. Do you want to know? What the? <laughs> How are you supposed to do this on the hardest difficulty? That's the neat part. All, You're all not. The, all of these guys would be level four. Anyways, don't worry about being there, Bradley, because those enemies can only move three anyway, so they can't catch you. Oh. Ah! He he dies at the start of the turn. <laughs> okay. okay, good. Wound. The night demon, on the other hand, does not. The Night Demon does not fuck around. He knows that trap is there. He's like, I'm not doing shit. No, Bradley uh, stunned him. I know that. We desperately need some way to get that Night Demon to come to us. All right, time to place the bombs. I'm long resting rather than short resting this turn because um, I want to make sure I get backstab back because it's the best one. Or the backstab. Uh, fucking run. Backstab will burn if I do that. Okay. Though. The thing is, you're gonna get attacked if you don't do a short rest, and you need this guy dead because he's hitting fives and sixes. I can't. I can't burn this because backstab burns when I use it. That doesn't. That means I don't get another turn. It's fine. I'm gonna stun him and run, and then I'm gonna Actually, hit you for one. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be exhausted regardless of what I do, because quick hands is. It's fine. Do do what you need to. Like you don't you do your long rest if you need to. I'm gonna run past you and heal I'm you. I'm gonna up. short. I'm gonna short rest and kill him. Okay. No. Hopefully. Okay. Energy we'll damage. See. Wait, I can't. Move. Can I move far? I can. Hopefully. Hopefully, I can get this. <laughs> um. It so looks like it's just like doing space away. Hopefully, I do enough. Rubber on the left. I'm gonna move through you onto the tile. Oh, yeah, them. yeah. All right, he's That's first. Fine. Oh shit! Yeah, because yeah, apparently... yeah. Easily. Oh wait, no. no. We're equal. We're equal. So I guess it prioritizes the player. All right, flanking strike. Don't fail me now. Oh, my buff is expired, so I'm gonna have to get really lucky for this to kill. I'm gonna need a plus two or a two times. <laughs> Do you have any of those? Oh! <laughs> he got the- Wait, what? what? It came up two times and it didn't pay off you anyway! You have a disadvantage. You must have. Oh, oh, I must have been a disadvantage. Why? Oh, I was still muddled. I hadn't attacked since I got muddled. Damn. That sucks. Because I guess attacking the wall didn't count. That's the only thing I've attacked since they put that on me. Son of a bitch. Yay, I'm dead. <laughs> it's over for us. Wait, what the 
hell is he doing over there? I don't know, he just strengthened himself. And he's allied. Dude, they ain't moving. They're like, nah. You... They're like, I can make you waste actions yeah. if I hang out you, back you, here. You come to us. Oh shit. Um, one thing though, actually, I think when you fail a scenario in this game, you get to keep your golden XP. Wait, why did I have fucking? Yeah, that was weird. I ain't been hit by shit. Oh, he's he's it's an innate trait on him. You attack yeah. us gain disadvantage. Yeah, I definitely feel like we should have done the bandit now. <laughs> yeah. Bradley's still got some actions. Just try and get like the golden That's... XP basically, because I think you get to keep it. He could heal you for one, but like I'm out of cards. It's I think he should just heal himself. I'm actually out of cards, like I can't take another action, I exhaust at the end of this turn. Bradley. Yeah, it's it's only healing people next to me. I can't heal yeah. myself with that. Oof. Oof. Ah. See? There I go. <laughs> bah, I'm dead. Alright. Oh, and Bradley's... Oh, oh. <laughs> He's forked. Just play cards that give you XP. <laughs> like, burn Toxic Bolt for the XP. Well, you got a short rest. Oh, actually, you've still got a decent number of cards left. It's going to be hard for you to survive, but you might be able to kite them out and even just kill okay, two of them. Okay, so them. you would need enhancement field for the damage buff. <laughs> yeah, if I were you, I would get rid of net shooter. The thing is, I'm short resting. Oh, yeah. Well, next year, next yeah, year, I mean, next year, the two the two strong up. ones physically can't reach you. The two healing from long resting and the choice might be worthwhile. And the other guy has to take the long path around to you if he gets the movement, otherwise he goes in the trap and dies. It, the traps don't do any damage, right? Yeah, they no, Bradley's trap is still on the uh, thing. He's got a trap on the corner. The guy has to make one, two, three movements to hit Bradley. Oh yeah, that trap hasn't been used at all. To be honest, though, I wish those guys were moving towards it. Nah, this situation looks bad. It's very, it's bad. very bad. So many enemies in this fucking cave. <laughs> and then I get hit for six damage. Bradley got hit for five. And Kiram ran out of cards. I would have ran out of cards. Yeah, I, I decked out. <laughs> I would have been in it for one more turn and then decked out. Boom. Comes the boom! It comes the boom! Those guys still can't reach you, by the way. They've only got three move, and I don't think they have range. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they've got no range. hoods and they float. That means they're dangerous. Yeah, just get the money. It's all about the money, money, just don't step in your own trap. I, yeah, it's my own bombs in the way, so it would take me... Like, you can to move, move the onto the rubble next to the money. Just walk on your trap! No, that <laughs> rubble next to the money is my trap. <laughs> yeah, the, the, so you can you can take the long way round, and the guy still can't reach you, right? Like, you could go, like... I mean, if you're sure. <laughs> they only have three movements. Oh, yeah, one of them can reach you. My bad. <laughs> You've got lasers. Ah, burn a card. <laughs> <laughs> You've beaten him out. <laughs> it's alright, we, we, we're we not going to win anyway. Just play cards that get you XP and try and reach the money. You'll be good. Can you immobilize him? Do you still have the immobilize? It says burn two discard cards, so I'm doing it, but it's not letting me. You have to select them on the side. Do you not have any active ones that you can burn them? No, I have I have two active ones, but I wouldn't be able to do fuck all on my next turn. Yeah. But you'd have to short. Rest. I would I would yeah. lose I would lose two cards anyway. Yeah, you should you have to select them on the side basically. So you just have to burn restore it instead of shot. That sucks. He put a status on you as well. What is that? 
this arm. Oh, you can't attack. <laughs> Oof. That's really fucked up because I was going to go out with a blaze of glory. Oof. You were going to make him move on. Yeah, this board. is your last turn and you can't fucking attack. <laughs> Just grab the money. Grab the money and run. Wait, can he move still? Yeah, he can move, he just can't attack. Okay. Uh, if you can make it there, grab the pile on the right, because it's six gold. Well, well, maybe not. Well, no, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> sure, no, no, we are, but does that still mean he gets... Uh, the other one's probably going to do the identical thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you, do you have enough movement to make it to the pile of six gold? Yeah, I do. Nice. Damn. Just make sure you path correctly and don't blow yourself the up. The fact that these guys have <laughs> two initiative is kind of insane. <laughs> like, they can just make themselves double tanky. Oh yeah, it's only two spaces away. I don't know why I thought that you would have to move the fucking weird direction. Is it gonna let you attack? No, this disarm slashing red. It's like, nope! No, you don't! My go! I got the money. Round 19. <laughs> Long rest. <laughs> Doesn't do anything, all of his cards are burned. <laughs> do it out of spite. Oh no, he can, he can have one more turn. No, one of them will burn. Yeah, no, yeah. no more turns because you only get one card back. He doesn't have enough cards. Yeah. And like, we played this really well as well, like, we make good use of all of our cards, and like, I he um, used his invigorating tonic when I had like 8 discarded, so it was like super valuable, and we still got fucked on action economy. Yeah. Defeat. No. Feet? Did someone say feet? <laughs> Yeah, it said I used six items in that, by the way. Yeah, every time you rested, your chest would have gotten refreshed then, I guess. Yeah. So right. you got critted a lot of times, and that yep. chest was putting yep. in work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just unlucky. Mm. Just Beating by some floating men. No, it was like the Night Stalker thing that did the most damage. Oh, so you keep playing if you get defeated. I thought this was hardcore. No, it's not hardcore. You don't, like, wipe out. <laughs> that that make you start the game again. Like, every time me and Bradley played, we had to. No, thought as well, yeah. Did you put it on hardcore? I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> That's never been how this game works on tabletop. Like, you must have set something. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, damn, this bandit fucking... Maybe, maybe hard. what happened was we just kept seeing the failed screen and then just we were just like, oh fuck, adventure's over, because that's how normal games work. <laughs> <coughs> we were just like, man, this game is just too hard. <laughs> hmm. So when are we going to play it on the... We need, we need a fourth person to buy it so we can have a full team. Mm. Do you think Alex, the number of mobs me, they... you. Okay, do you think the number of mobs are equal to three players or yeah. to four players currently? The number of enemies are just depending on how many people you have and the difficulty. There's like a whole section of the book for it in the tabletop version. But like it basically it adjusts how many enemies and how many of them are elite based on a combination of difficulty and player count. Yeah. So the game is actually scaled to be playable by less people. Mm. I don't think we'll see any. Is anyone else stuff on the loading screen? Really. I'm just it says wait stuck on waiting for other players. Yeah. No, I'm just waiting. Um, I'm at the city. We're on a loading screen. Yeah. Did you hit cancel city event for a second and see if it lets us in? We might need to just restart the client at this point. <laughs> it's, it's been a fair few minutes. Yeah, I might just be stuck. I'll be the guinea pig. I'll see what happens if I restart me. All right. I will need you to pop up the invite code for me in a sec. Already done. Oh, he was fucking ahead of the game. God damn, yeah, open ready.
Well, I know I can't go for purist anymore. Oh, do you think that our numbers of enemies got scaled up because Bradley added a mercenary four? Like, the character exists, we just didn't bring them with us. Are you actually kidding me? No, no, no. Because <laughs> that's what it was like last game. Why does this game keep defaulting to mouse and fucking controller every time I restart it? It, like, changes my settings. But, if you remember correctly, like, for the first quest, we had, like, six enemies in the starting room. Try deleting the fourth character and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, uh, th th there isn't... I don't know how I could go about doing that. Pop, pop. You should pop, be able to just remove them. Pop that son right? of a bitch. Because <laughs> you, yeah. you have to create them to make them exist, right? I can just assign it to other people. That's strange that you can't get rid of it. Anyways, now that I've changed my settings back. That's fucking cringe. Can I see the invite code again now that my settings are fixed? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> YCSY. BLB. I mean, I'm gonna have to recharge my headset anyway because it's dying. You're just gonna have to play us out loud out of the speakers. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just grab my phone and just join Discord on that. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, so yeah, we've got to keep our money. See, I've got 17 gold and all my XP. So dying's not that bad. No, oh, no, it's, it's not that bad at all. I just thought, you know. Like, I was like, oh, oh shit, you know, you start the game. My, again. um, my character is assigned to you, by the way, you need to give them back to me. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like Mercenary 4 actually hasn't been created. Bradley just owns the slot, so that's not what's yeah, happening. Yeah, basically. That, that, right. that was just it... difficult, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Even if I tried to get one now, it won't let me, um, like, I can't recruit yeah. something for it. It's, it's like, disabled. Fair enough. Do I want to buy anything that's available for 19 gold? Um... Oh, minor stamina potion is like the best item in this game, just zero so F. I mean, there's a, there's a major stamina potion later, but like stamina potions are crazy good. They let you recover a discarded card, basically. <laughs> And you have um, five slots for small items, so oh, yeah, it's always worth it packing one of those. City event, by the way, if, if oh, yeah. everything I'm locked in, ready for it. Nate, you ready for city event? I think you might be AFK, I haven't heard him in a while. But yeah, anyways, if you have 10 gold, big recommend on the minor stamina potion. Because if you end up in situations like I do, where you have one card left, Mm. and you can't do anything, you can avoid having to rest for another turn, and then you get one more card's worth of value out of your rest as well. I suppose it's probably more value to me than my uh, my healing potion. I mean, you can have both. Like I said, you've got five slots for small items. Oh, does 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 that work? Like, I thought If you look in your equipment like tab, you have, um, you have five slots for small items, one for head. So basically, with your equipment, you just get to fill up all those slots. And there's six stamina potions available on the shop. Oh, it tells me that I unlock more uh, small item pouches once I... Um... Oh, are they locked? I see. Oh, I didn't know. Really yeah. Look that closely. I mean, I, I kind of want to... I mean, if you oh, want man. a stamina potion, you can buy it and just unequip the healing one. You don't have to uh, sell yeah, it. Yeah, I've I done that already, yeah. yeah. I just think it kind of sucks that it's like, you know, bound to my character. I was like, oh.
Yeah, I think Nathan's probably disappeared. You want to jump off the game? Then? I'll give him a couple minutes. I'm just gonna run to the kitchen and stuff quick and see. Oh, so just... That quest is still there for us to reattempt it as well. Yeah, it doesn't go away. You just that's that's one of the nice things this game does for you is that if you fail something, you get to keep all your golden XP and you can just retry it. So right, yeah. you basically. That's that's nice of the monsters not to eat us alive. So eventually you'll become strong enough to beat stuff if you just keep beating your head against it, basically. Okay. And yeah, each time you level up, you unlock new options to put in your deck, like cards but and stuff. You know when you unlock a new character on here then? If you wanted to start another campaign, do, do you, are you allowed to start with that character? Or do you always have to start with No, No, they're, they're unlocked through events in the campaign, so a new campaign won't have them unlocked. Uh, so you're not you're not supposed to be able to have them at the beginning of the campaign. Hmm. So, but your your characters get retired if you achieve their goals, right? Yeah. So, is there any way of getting what What's the aim of the game then? To retire all the t heroes? There's like an end to the campaign. Like there's like a there's just like a kind of story running through everything. Mm. Because so I that's call... what the, um, if you look at the linked quests, like that's stuff that's like connected to the story, basically. Like after the first one, we got like a linked quest. Mm. So like, there's there isn't like an end to the game, kind of. I, I was about to say because like you know my goal for just killing monsters, like I'm already on six. I'm like every time we seem to do an encounter, I seem to get three more. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you and I retire the characters pretty quick. Like we got through most of the classes in our campaign, and we. Are kind of close to finishing. Hmm. There's a lot of side quests as well. The game has a ton of content. I think if you look, they're actually labeled whether or not they're side quests. So the one we were trying to do just narrowly failed is labeled side quest. Hmm. Well, there's like hundreds of encounters, and they're oh, all unique. Huh? None of them reuse locations. I just don't understand why they just don't let you pick whoever you want when you start. It's just part of the role playing. Like, you're not supposed to meet certain characters and like know about them and stuff until later. Okay. And yeah, and then one of your boys are like, "Okay, I'm out," and then they're just like, "Okay, I'm joining you guys." Yeah, there's some really good classes there. There's like an archer that you'll probably like. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. So you have yeah. Doom something, Edgy Boy. Anything with Doom in its name is default Edgy. That character sounds fantastic. All, all I hear is bow, and I'm like, yeah. I can Nathan. kill people from far away. Fantastic. Where, oh, where has my Nathan gone? <laughs> oh, when will he come back to me? We can just hang out for a second and uh, I'll mm. take a look at some school stuff. And... Might as well go in. Yeah. I mean, I'm curious to see, like, I know Alex would love that little imp fucking rat thing. Oh, yeah. Are you there, Alex? One of the starting classes in this game is a little rat guy that has mind control powers. And the no, we, we just never assumed that you would vibe that. <laughs> I might jump off the game quickly so I can... Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I can I can actually add a new mercenary now. Oh, you can. Yeah. But yeah, Alex, it's um, it's this guy. Hmm. The mind thief. He's pretty good. Hmm. He can summon stuff and mind control.